we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast After Hours Edition, man. We're joining some special guests and some lovely ladies. Quick nuts before we get into the show. Number one, rumble.com slash fresh fit. As you guys know, we're probably going to get banned off YouTube any day now. So y'all better go check us out over there on rumble.com slash fresh fit. Also, and support Sid as well. Yes. Rumble. Yes. Rumble.com slash safe speech, man. Go subscribe. He's he back. Million while he was in jail. And yeah. a lot of his haters can't even hit that. So uh, fuck the haters. Freshfit.locals.com, guys. Get all the behind the scenes content there, whether it's a live stream or a double date or whatever it may be. Check us out. Also, um, what's up next? Oh, Megaphone. Megaphone, if you guys want to listen to us on audio, uh, we got the Fresh Fit and the Fresh Fit After Hours version on there. Just make sure you wear headphones so you don't get fired at your job. Also, get the merch, freshfitpodcaststore.com. Chris the Bum shirts are in stores right now. So go ahead and get that shirt to represent. And then also, check us out on our other YouTube channel, guys, Fresh and Fit Clips. We post six clips on there, 10 shorts per day. So let's get that channel to a million subscribers, man. Get another golden plaque so we can flex on all the haters, all right? And then uh, also check out Fresh Vlog. For all your vlog needs, guys, we have a vlog channel. We do when, when we travel here in Miami for fun times. Go check it out. Told you on the way. Let's go. And uh, check me out, guys. Oh, your Patreon. And guys, last day for CEO Network. We're closing that tonight after this show. Stop We're gonna come into it, bro. <laughs> if we come into it, we have a network. Meet millionaires. Be successful. Join the group, man. We're closing it after this show tonight. So tap into Stop it. Stop the cap. Let's all go. Right. And uh, check me out, guys. I fed eighteen eleven as you guys know. I break out couple cases. The last one I did was um, Sarah Boone, the soup case killer, worst interview ever, delusional. And I also did the Trump indictment, guys. So I broke it down in detail, went over the charges, what happened with Stormy Daniels, what he's actually being charged with, falsifying business records. So if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, he just got indicted actually yesterday. So it is what it is. But I go into detail with timestamps and everything else like that. So, yeah, they need to lock up Hillary instead. But that's a whole other thing. Me and MJ Facts. agree. Right, MJ? Yeah. <laughs> get but, uh, deleted emails. Go check it out. And also, go get my book, guys. It's in stores right now on Audible, Kindle, and every other platform. Why women deserve less? Because you need to stop fucking sipping, guys. Hardcover, softcover, and uh, it's in store. So go check it out on Amazon. Um, other than that, man, we got uh, some lovely ladies to introduce, right? Oh, and, uh, Chris, girls, uh, Give me on Aaron C. Parkson on IG. Uh, make sure, uh, yeah, just send me a nice, short, you know, message. Some of your picture your photo i don't want to see your paragraph let's get it <laughs> bam I think right. still not verified damn it <laughs> okay, ladies the panel. I know, right? give us your name your age what you do for a living daily status and if you want to of course your body count we'll start <laughs> right here hi i'm virginia i'm 25 uh, i'm from italy and i'm a fashion designer oh nice to the point yeah. um what part of italy are you from florence have you ever been there no i never have ah uh, you should Okay. And you said you're a fashion designer? Yeah. Okay. What's your highest education level? Uh, high school. Okay. Um, and then what's your relationship status? Uh, single. Single? All right. Cool. Do you style guys too? Yeah. You need to style Myron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right. What about you? Hi, I'm Grace. I'm 24. Welcome back. <laughs> yes. I'm from Topeka, Kansas, and I'm a nail tech. And right now I'm single, but I'm looking for my husband. Yes. Uh, and then high school, education, <laughs> oh, you said high school? High school, yeah. Okay, single. Cool. What about you? Hi, my name's Michelle. I'm 26 and I'm a paralegal. I'm taken. Okay. Uh, what's your highest education level completed? Bachelor's in criminal justice. Okay. Where'd you get it from? Kennesaw State University. Where's where, uh, In Georgia. Okay. Um, and then how long have you been in a relationship? <laughs> Since September. Oh, so recent, like four or five months? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Cool. How about you? I'm Eliana. I'm 24. I'm a model. What's, okay. what's more? You've been in Vogue? You've been in Vogue? <laughs> Soon to be, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what's your um, highest education level completed? Uh, college. Okay. And where are you from originally? I'm Dominican. You're, mm. you're from the DR? You were raised there? Um, yeah. You went to high school in DR? No. Where'd you go to high school? In Atlanta. Okay. So I'd consider you from Atlanta then. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> and then what's your relationship status? I'm single. Single? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Told you. Recently divorced, actually. Oh, yeah. shit. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. How so long have you been divorced for? Um, Like a year. A year? Wait, who divorced who? Me. I divorced him. Why? Financial region reasons. What the? So you wanted yeah. to take half his shit? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. It's that he wasn't making enough money, so I didn't feel stable enough to like be in that relationship. Okay, at least you're wow. honest. That's actually the leading cause of divorce. Yeah. So money, I mean, statistically speaking. All yeah. right, fair enough. Poor guy. About you? Poor guy. My name is Naomi. I'm from Chicago. 
I'm single How and I'm 20. Okay. And you're from, you said Chicago? Yes, but okay. I'm moving here soon. Okay. And uh, what do you do for work? Right now I'm serving. Okay. Um, are you in college or? I Yeah, I'm in college. Okay. You're pursuing your bachelor's degree, I'm guessing? Yes. In what? In business, international business to do medical sales. Do you want to drop where you go to school? Say that again? Do you want to drop where you go to school? It's up to you. No. Okay. The bride. <laughs> the, what the you bride. say, the bride? <laughs> Kaiser. Okay. Kaiser. <laughs> um, and then you said single? Oh, shit. Yes. Okay. So you're just here on vacation or visiting? Yeah. Okay. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about you? I'm Crystal. I'm 25. Welcome back. Uh, yeah. I do OnlyFans. I own a jet ski business. Where are you from? I invest in real estate and I'm from Arizona. Uh, what part of Arizona? Scottsdale. Scottsdale? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Single. Okay. <laughs> she always. She's like depressed, mess single. All right. <laughs> Crystal, 25, Arizona, OF. And then you said uh, highest education level completed? College. You have a bachelor's? Yes. In? Uh, criminal justice. Okay. How, and then... How was uh, McQueen? <laughs> He's cool. I just saw him earlier. Awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. What about you? Hi. I'm Pixie. I'm 23. I am currently working part-time, looking for a full-time job. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do part-time? Um, I'm working with Hope Clinic International. They're a nonprofit that focuses on giving medical supplies to kids in Colombia. Okay. Oh, Colombia. Okay. Yeah. And um, where are you originally from? I'm originally from Puerto Rico. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you actually Puerto Rican or do you just were, grew up there? I was born and raised there and both my parents are Puerto Rican. Okay. All right. So Pixie 23, Puerto Rico, part-time nonprofit, and then highest education level completed? I got... <laughs> I got my bachelor's in the University of Florida. Okay. Gator? Yes. Gators. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then uh, relationship status? Single. All right. We could tell. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. And then last but not least. Hi, guys. It's Zena. How are you? Highest level of education, high school, and the Fresh and Fit Academy for Reformed and Preventative 304s. Okay. Um, <laughs> Age? I'm 26. Uh -huh. No, no. Wait. How old am I? Fuck. I'm 27. I don't yeah. know why I forgot I was gonna that. Say 27. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally just forgot my age. I'm 27. Uh huh. Where are you from? I'm from Akron, Ohio. I've been living in Florida since 20, the end of 2014. Uh -huh. Um. Uh. Highest education is high school, and then single. No. Oh, what taken? are you? Taken. How long? Stop the cap. I'm taken. Stop the cap. I'm monogamous. <laughs> I'm monogamous. I'm taken. How long? How long you been taken? The entire time I'm taken. No, no, no. We need time period. Bro, y'all know. I'm taking. I don't know. No, I'm taking. I'm new to it. <laughs> Inform me. I didn't. This, this news to me. I'm glad for you, but how long? Man, it's I'm, Cap. I'm taking. I'm taking. I'm, taking. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. This is fantastic. All right. Monogamous uh, to one man. Um, And also, I'm quitting my OnlyFans by May, by the way. Cap. I just scheduled the delete. Bruh. I'll still yeah. want to believe it. Black China paving the way. Sorry, I'm on the <laughs> you get my face too? All right. No, but I'm converting to Islam. Okay. So we just Haram! Don't Fair enough. All right. Uh, special so guest. What, we got the special guest in the house. Can you guys introduce yourself to the audience? We know who you are, but they might not. Fidex Fearless, uh, YouTuber, dating and self improvement. All right. Bam. MJ, get right. Uh, you know, professional coochie whisperer. <laughs> I have a, I dive into a lot of other things, but like mainly now. specialize in whispering to coochies. You know, give them what they want and shit. Like, that. go ahead. Facts. Austin Dunham. Um, Digital Romeo, calisthenics expert, all the above. Chad. Chad, Tyrone, yeah. whatever you want to say. Tyrone, for real. Um, jack of all trades, man. I do a lot. Yeah. Fair we enough. did a fire show earlier. Yes, podcast was yes. crazy. We talked about modern dating. We talked about the Andrew Tate situation. Him yep. getting out. Fucked all the haters. He's home, so uh, it's gonna be lit. Um, okay, cool. So, fresh, you have the first one, right? I do. So, the topic of cheating comes up multiple times in our uh, debates, right? But I want to know from you guys here on the panel, who cheats more, and why do you think people cheat, men versus women? <clears throat> I guess we can start with the girls, for example. Why do you think men cheat, and who cheats more, in your opinion? I think uh, they cheat both uh, in the same level. Same level. Right. Yeah, I think so. And uh, I will say men mostly cheat uh, 
because uh, they want to feel the spark uh, at the beginning again. What's so, the spark? Like the flirting at the beginning with a girl or being under attention from someone new so he can feel okay. So girls likes me. I'm not anymore. Uh, like, like the, the honeymoon whole... phase. Hmm? The honeymoon phase, the very beginning. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. I will say like uh, the first three weeks uh, when uh, you're meeting someone. Yeah, that's the reason. Okay. Uh, for the girls, it's different. It's a slightly different. And for my experience and for my opinion, or a girl, she she's not able to stay with only one woman, mm -hmm. which is possible. It's more, I think it's more possible than men's. And uh, the second one is because she emotionally frustrated for since from her man. So that will put her in okay. that position. That's a good point. Wait, so what's the reason for the girl again? She's emotionally frustrated with okay. her yeah. man at that point. All right, so for cheats. the man, just to make sure I got this right, it's uh, you think it's equal between the cheating, men do it to feel the spark, and then women do it for... Feel the spark, feel the attention, the man's Same mostly. Thing? Yeah. Okay. The man especially, mostly, I will say, yes. Okay, so both feel the spark, but you think men especially? Uh, Like, because as a girl... Most of the time, I think we know our value or something, and the man uh, always needs confirmation. What? The man needs confirmation? Yeah. <laughs> you mean the other way around? That's not how it works. I think it's the other way around, too, <laughs> yeah. but that's fine. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, that's her opinion. Okay. Right. That's what my about opinion. You? Okay, so. Um, Just to be clear, the question is who question cheats is, more who cheats and then why? And then why? <clears throat> okay, so. I agree with her with saying, like, I feel like they both equally cheat, but it's different type of cheating. So men will physically cheat on you, but women would emotionally cheat on you. So say, for instance, um, if a girl is mad at their partner or something, they would possibly, like, text somebody or entertain the idea of it, but not fully go, like, and, you know, hump on them or something like that, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> That's a very good point. What about you? I think women cheat more. Thank hmm. you for being on. Why? <laughs> Ew. Just any change <laughs> and any emotion, if they're not getting that constant validation, I guess, from men, they're going to take that as, okay, he doesn't like me anymore, he doesn't love me, and so he, they're going to go cheat. Mm. What do you think men cheat? Men cheat for different reasons. I mean, men are essentially designed to... Men are designed to sleep with as many women as they can. Mm. Women are not. They're meant to be monogamous. So question, can your man cheat on you? Yeah. Okay. Girl, w in the chat. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Shit. Hey, nice. she knows the truth, so there you go. <laughs> what about you? You're Ms. crazy. Miss model. She's a Miss Divorcee. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, think, I think men definitely cheat more. Mm. I think women get caught less, but I think men definitely cheat more. Why? I think men just cheat because they want to, they, 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 girls are hot. Like, I understand. Like, girls are hot. Like, you go to the club, you go to the fucking Starbucks, and you see them, and you're like, damn, like, I want to fuck. And if she wants to let you fuck, she, you're going you're gonna to definitely fuck. Mm -hmm. Like, if I, if I saw, like, a really hot man that I really wanted to fuck, and then he, uh, that happens a lot, but. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like Austin? <sighs> and FedEx? And MJ? Probably Austin. I don't know about the rest, but. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Oh, Fucking Tyrone in the house. Get him out of here. <laughs> yeah, men definitely cheat more. And why do women cheat? You think? Uh, women cheat because they they're not loved enough in, at home. They're not paid attention enough. They're the man is probably working too much or stuff like that. You see the pool boy, you fuck him. You know. Mm. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that what you? They're bored. Is that they're what bored. you did? Yeah, I've never cheated in my life. I've never cheated in any not of my cow. relationships. Wow. Never, never. Not the cat. That's I'm, amazing. No, I'm like obsessed with him. I'm, I'm like, I'm Dominican. Like, I'm obsessive. And you but still you divorced him. Nice. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I still divorced him. The dick, the dick isn't going to keep me staying. Money might. <laughs> you know what's funny? At least she's honest about that point. The, the, the honesty is like it's paramount. Crazy, okay. Right? What about you? I think women hide it better, but men for sure cheat more. Um, almost every man I've come across has presented himself as like insecure. I think a lot of men are insecure and just look for validation through women, whether it be because of their mothers or family, whatever. I think it definitely roots from like childhood. Um, Who searches for validation more, men or women, from the opposite gender? 
Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. I think both do, obviously. Who has, who I don't know who does more. What a cap set, bro. <laughs> <laughs> not for me, though. Who not creates only for yeah. no, Not my hair. Yeah. Give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> so, who do you, yeah, so who do you think uh, requ- uh, wants validation more, men or women? I don't know. Come on. What? I don't know. I think... <laughs> Please well, if we're going to make real, a statement that you think men cheat more right, and that men do it for validation, I mean, I would think you would... I mean, versed in the subject. A lot of women look for validation for sure. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> but I think that's why men cheat is because they look for validation. I think that's why they cheat. Question: okay. Have right. you been cheated on a lot? Have I been cheated on? I don't date. I like being single. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then uh, why do why, you, you, you said men val- cheat for validation? Why do women cheat then? Same reason. They're insecure looking. I think the honeymoon phase really gets a lot of people, so they look for that through many people. They like the feeling, so they go and find it. So for them, it's to, I guess, get that feeling of a honeymoon again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Cool. What about <laughs> you? Who cheats more and why? Um, I think men cheat more okay. just because if they're given the opportunity, if somebody's willing to give it up, they're gonna go for it. Okay. Um. Do you think men actually get those opportunities? That's though? what I'm saying. <laughs> if a girl's drunk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You think if, you think just by her getting drunk, that's going to be more of an opportunity? Uh, I think oh. there's a higher chance. That's scary. For How God. many guys do y'all think even have the ability to cheat to get another piece of pussy? Do they, like, do y'all ever think about that? All of them. Think okay, about that's the percentage true. of men that that's have true. the ability to. You have catch to be attractive. Pussy. Yeah, you're right. You have to be attractive. That's all I wanted mm-hmm. to say. That's it. So do you or still you think men cheat more? <laughs> yes. Okay. Based on opportunity. Yes. What you just said a second ago isn't that prevalent for guys. <laughs> They're still gonna cheat. If they have the chance, they're gonna cheat. But do they get the chance? Is the question I'm saying. So if they don't get the chance, then how are they gonna cheat? Exactly. I don't know. They're still gonna do it though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So manifestation. Just, all right. Yeah. Okay. Opportunity that they right. never get. Fantastic. Manifest right. and then, pussy. And then, why, and then why do women cheat? Um, I think if they're not getting enough attention from their man, they'll cheat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Puerto Rico, take us away. <laughs> so, um, statistically speaking, men do cheat slightly more. It's around, um, I think, I believe um, 66% of women have said that they've never cheated. Around 60% of men have said that they've never cheated. You can find this in YouGov. Um, that y'all lie? Uh, <laughs> 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 um, okay. And but, then why do, why do the genders cheat, you think? I think, um, well... Let's start with the vast majority of people don't cheat. So I believe the people who do cheat are just emotionally immature. They're insecure. Um, they don't feel stable in the relationship. So they just look for somebody else to fill that void. So I think from the subsection of people who do cheat, it's because of that. Mm. Okay. So for men and for women. Yeah, both. And, and to be clear, when you're saying um, they're cheating, are we talking about sex? Yeah, we're talking about physical. Okay. So you think the threshold for cheating is the same for men and women? Um, that's a very good question. Uh, I think for vast majority of people, the clear boundaries are physical. Some people would consider emotional cheating a thing. I would have to look more into specific data of that, but I'm talking or focusing mostly on physical right now. Okay. okay. And I'm assuming for the rest of the girls here, all of you guys were assuming the physical side, sex, sex is the cheating threshold yeah. for y'all? Yeah. That yeah. you guys were all using the metric when you say men cheat more? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. And then, Zena, what do you think? Women cheat more. Why? Women cheat more um, because we typically have placeholder boyfriends. We don't respect them and we seek validation from other men. Men, given the chance, if they were able to get women, yes, they would physically cheat more. But men don't necessarily have to entertain women, nor do they really have those chances most of the time. And for me, the threshold of cheating is emo- is is not just physical. If you're entertaining another man, like the guys in DMs, oh, I'll take you out block because even entertaining them even responding be like oh i'm talking to somebody you're entertaining him and to me i consider that cheating so thank you thank you all right so you think they cheat more because the threshold to cheat is easier to penetrate yes and women can they get so much attention especially in today's you know in today's society with social media and all these guys like you could post you could be a a solid three and post a picture and a guy is going to be simping in the in the comments no matter what so even when they know you have somebody you're talking to they don't care so 
Right. Women entertain that. They cheat more emotionally. And if somebody strokes your emotion and your ego enough, then and you're dealing with a guy. And in most cases, women aren't dealing with a guy that they truly respect anyway. So someone giving you more attention when he's not, they're going to go for it. Do you ladies agree that as a woman, the threshold for you to cheat is easier to breach just by simply accepting attention from the opposite gender? And we can start here in our work away. Do you agree with that sentiment or do you think cheating is at the line of sex for a woman? So the uh, the argument she she come up uh, about uh, I'm told I'm sorry to say but I'm totally disagree with that like I'm so sorry to okay that's to fine listen to why do you that. disagree go ahead uh, because also like uh, if also posting a picture on social media you're totally like on the fact that uh, maybe you're side between the real life and you can post better picture or something yeah totally agree about that but I feel like uh, woman. Merch. Don't always post for like. I'm sorry, you misunderstood, baby. Uh, no, no, no. Before I, I know what you're about to say, let me correct because uh, yeah, I've, you're, okay, okay, yeah, probably. I'm saying when a woman, you could post a conservative picture. I'm not saying posting a picture means you're cheating, okay. but you have more attention from men because of social media. So you have more men in your DMs. You have more chances as a woman, even going outside, walking to 7-Eleven down the street of men catcalling and giving you attention. You have more attention from men. That's that's what I meant. Not the posting a picture is cheating. Cheating. Yeah. Okay, I thank you for your explanation. But I was like, also you said that if you're going to answer to that man that's giving you a compliment, it's like for you, it's, a, it's cheating that? If you respect a man, whether you're in the relationship with him or not, and you respect him, you shouldn't be speaking to another man at all. But like if a man uh, texts under my picture, hey, beautiful. Ignore Why it. Why is he under your picture? Yeah, yeah ignore right. it. The fuck, she looks good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why, you just ignore why, it. Why are you making yourself accessible to other men? If you're in a relationship that you claim you want an ugly bitch, to. you want a pretty bitch. Why are you making yourself accessible to other men? It's just posting a picture. You don't answer the question directly, though. No, 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 no. You said, do you want an ugly bitch or a pretty bitch? Mm-hmm. Which one do you? Why choose? are you making yourself accessible to other men if you're in a relationship? What do you with a man? mean mm. by accessible? It's just yeah. posting yeah. a photo. That's, that's a broad. Yeah. That's broad. If you are all Let me clarify for you, ladies, so you understand what he's saying. So if you post a picture. Not for your boyfriend, you're posting it to the public, and you know other men follow you. You're making yourself accessible to other men. Mm. So, so, would you post? Sense? Do you not believe why this would you po- Why would you post? Just delete for yourself. Yes, of wait, just delete wait, wait, no. wait, wait, wait. I have a question. Do yeah. you not Do you not think women can take photos like for themselves or for their friends why in general? Why are you posting it online? Yeah, he's saying he posted it. Why not? It's for everybody. Because yeah, he's, he's not. Wait, wait, not wait, you're a content your creator. No, no. You're a content creator, so you have to post. Like, I, I don't have OnlyFans showing my <laughs> No, no, no. no, 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 no you still have to post. So, yeah, I'm posting to teach men, not gain attention from them. You're doing oh, something different. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. So you don't want attention? No. I'm teaching me. Give a fuck about it. Yeah, to to help them. But you're. He's not saying like posting a selfie with like, oh, I'm with my family today. That's not making yourself available. But let's be honest. Look at your Instagram. That's what he's talking about. Your titties are all out. out. Got your ass done. Like you are making yourself available for men's attention and other women. So so if you just post a a regular picture, it's okay. Or is it not? You shouldn't even have an Instagram. (laughs) Exactly. Okay, but when you meet. Sorry. Instagram is a dating app. And when Instagram was first created, it was created and, and it was created around sex work anyways. If you guys didn't know your facts, it was created about sex work. It was created for porn stars. Mm. So Instagram itself is already a sex app and a dating app. So if you're with a man and he tells you to delete your Instagram, you should be deleting it because if you're with him, like, what do you need to I be on the internet? Only if I, you respect respect him. Him. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But to my understanding, love. Instagram was also created for just, like, artistic photos. photos yeah. Right? In general, artistic yeah, uploading. Yeah, posting half-naked butt shots on Instagram? <laughs> well, so that's art, babe. Well, I'm well, saying... Wait, 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 wait. So you got an artistic ass. <laughs> oh, no, no. We're talking about photographers posting, like, landscapes. But regardless of that... When you're saying, oh, no, like you're just like posting for other men, et cetera, et cetera. People like to share what they're doing on Instagram with to their who? friends as well. To who? Right. Most people aren't influencers. Most people, when they're sharing a photo, it's to the people they know. They want people to know, hey, look, I was just in this vacation. <laughs> why didn't you send it? To so that's not just okay, but what if you're making money off of it. Wait, what if you're wait. making money off of it? So wait, 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 no. Attention. Why don't you send it to people in specific? It's because nobody wants to be dealt every day with a hundred million different messages. No, 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 no. hundred million different friends. You're looking for an excuse to keep the door open. But what if you're making money off of it? That's what you're doing. Just like you're making money off of it. 
on the clothes you anymore. Love. Just like you're making money off of it. Here's what you forgot to say. You keep mentioning you're making money off of it, right? Okay, but wait, wait, wait. Let me talk. Let me talk. As a woman, you're making money off Instagram, right? That means the only way a woman's making money off Instagram is either she's on OnlyFans or something sexual, or she's a model. Guess who is your main? Guess who's your main consumer? men so therefore you're making yourself available to men that's how we'll say it's wrong uh, also because uh, i'm in the world of you're fashion. A fashion that's not that's oh, not whole stuff yeah, we're not oh, talking no, about wait. that baby uh, no probably no, you don't know no. most of uh, the dates about instagram the the person who's getting more money out of instagram is the person who's sponsoring uh, content for girls the girls uh, are the most uh, buyers and everything so i can tell you 100 names of influencers. They are not posting a picture, really like picture only for showing clothes and they're getting most of the money of it. Name like them, uh, name. not even uh, like uh, with only fans, uh, uh, the girls are only fun. They're getting only a small percent of it. Mm -hmm. So Instagram nowadays, especially with the new limits that they're, they're imposing to the, um, to the influencer and everything, they're posting all the picture about closet and everything. And that's just the most money of it. The money you know, one of the, the, one of the fashion. biggest fashion brands of Instagram is Fashion Nova. And do you right. understand that Fashion Nova's most popular clothes? Yeah, it's women who buy it, but they buy it for men's attention. It's whole clothes. I had a whole bunch of Fashion Nova. <laughs> I know what Fashion Nova is, babe. Wait, well, do you not? Of, yeah, sorry. sorry. Uh, women are consumers. Yes, that's a fact. Yeah, we women weren't are arguing consumer. about that. What we were saying is the women that are making the money on social media, what are they making money off of? Their beauty and their body. Yes, they bought the makeup to look pretty on Instagram to sell themselves to men. So why you now you're wearing makeup? To sell my look. Exactly that. For attention. I want to look good. Okay. Uh, and you're taking it, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's something Stop wrong with it. Wait, let me let me continue. Wait, wait, wait. Now let me continue. Obviously, I'm on a podcast and I have to represent the podcast. I do work here. So I'm gonna look good. I'm not gonna come looking like a bum one because okay. I work here. I'm gonna look presentable. Am I wearing whole clothing? No, I'm not. I'm wearing my uniform. Two, on my Instagram, I don't have any of that whole stuff. I don't have I don't even have pictures of my face on Instagram. I have an anime uniform. I'm fully covered and I have fashion fit on my Instagram. I don't have whole stuff on my Instagram at all. I don't post myself. Okay. okay. Does that answer your question, would, love? Would okay. you would you would you okay. ladies agree that you you have men that are interested in you that follow you on Instagram? Yeah, but if I don't yeah. care, then remember. why don't you block them or, or make your Instagram private? Because I will need to spend waste all my time. If you're in a relationship, the private button. Who cares? Yeah. Like, oh, he gonna... cares. You you're you're supposed to be his woman. And you're making yourself accessible to other men. Okay, but if he met me, I was posting picture on Instagram. You're in a relationship what? now. Why? No, I'm sorry, you to be changed. So back then you were make single. Yeah, so you're, you're not. Now you were a man. <laughs> make it private. If I you're now in a relationship. You're well, supposed to act like you're in a relationship. Right. I'm acting like in a relationship. No, you're not. Is it not, private? Not, not making up Instagram I'm, Wait, public. I'm not saying I'm flirting by message with some men, but if But someone... you're making yourself accessible. You're opening the doorway for men to be able you to could, when reach it's you. right and making myself yeah. my uh, my body or myself accessible, posting a picture on Instagram because you yes. know that men that desire you. So follow I need to you. cover myself. Yeah, or I need to cover myself. If we're gonna follow your logic to the end yeah. of everything, right? Then it follows that women should not step outside the house without a burger on uh, because other finally. men can be attracted yeah. and they can talk to you yeah. and you're making yourself accessible. Uh, so no, that no, is no, no, a logical no, no, conclusion no, no, of what no, no, you're no, saying. No, 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 no. You want to go to extreme to defend no, a weak I, I, point. No, 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 no. I'm following your logic. No, 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 no. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. You're saying when a woman posts a picture, she's making herself accessible. You choose your environment online. You don't get to choose who steps outside. Do you or do you not? Okay, you don't choose oh, yeah, who yeah, follows yeah. you. You don't choose who follows 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 you. You don't choose who steps outside. You can choose you can, who follows you. Don't, exactly. You don't know you exactly who follows you. you. There's yes, a bunch you of an. If your, your page, page is private, private if your you page is pick. private, you have to accept okay. it. Exactly. So right. let's, let's, let her, yeah. let's let her make her yeah. point real quick, and then uh, you can go yeah. ahead and uh, refute it. So go, go ahead, finish your point. You were yeah. saying that um, by his logic, women should wear burkas. Continue, finish your point, then you can uh, answer. What I'm trying to explain here is that, oh, you get to choose, you get to create your following. There's a certain point where that's not true in, anymore, right? Where if you're trying to be an influencer, if you're trying to grow, et cetera, et cetera, you're going to get vast amounts of people, some with fake accounts, some with real accounts following you. Now, let's say, okay, you know, oh, women shouldn't become influencers because that's making themselves accessible. Like, let's say that's your position. Well, either way, 
at the end of the day, like if somebody's following me and I don't know them, et cetera, et cetera, their attraction to me is not necessarily me making myself accessible. Now, you, if I start you, flirting with them back, if I start texting them back, et cetera, et cetera, that's a different story. But it's the same logic of, oh, meeting people in real life, right? It's not the same logic. You don't get no, to choose not. who... No, it's not. No, you don't it's get not. to choose... The same logic would be going out <laughs> on a, to a nightclub, dress sexy, knowing men who will be attracted to you will be there, but you're still dressed as sexy, m making yourself available. I think that logic applies more to Instagram versus just stepping outside your house. Okay, I have a, I have a legitimate question for you guys. Do you think that when a woman is being attractive... It can only be on the basis of other men. Do you think a woman can never dress up for just herself, just to feel good about herself, just because she likes what she looks in the mirror? Fuck no, that's bullshit. That's <laughs> no, it's not. It's fucking bullshit. Y'all want to look good. You want to look good for men. That's what you want. Yeah. That's what you want. Like, no. stop, stop the cap. No, that's not. But you guys are online, so it's the same thing. No, we're not posting ass shots online. Yeah, but you guys are not liking it. You guys are liking it. You guys are attractive. Well, so, so, she did, so, so she did pose a question. Let the guys answer real quick. Do you guys think that girls dress for themselves? No, no they don't. don't. You look <laughs> good for me because you know that's what I want. And then I give what? you in response to how you look exactly what you want. It's it's a chain reaction. Okay, there. and then what if we turn you down? Right. <laughs> I go out and turning not, down men boosts my I'm ego. Not, I'm, not, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not approaching y'all. I turn down females. That boosts my ego. That boosts my I just said that too. Uh, that no, boosts my ego. But, but that doesn't do anything so what's for the females. Difference? You, can, so, so you can step outside the difference is, the difference and be is, like, who wants some pussy? And there could be right. thousands of guys lining up. Now, a regular mm -hmm. guy can step outside. Who wants some dick? <laughs> that's, no, you can't that's equate crazy. that. You can't that's equate crazy, that. You're right. You can't equate that. It's not, it's not, it doesn't meet the same standard. Well, there's a difference between dressing up and dressing sexy in, in my book. Like dressing up, I think of like a, a nice dress, elegant, classy. I believe women can do that for themselves without taking an ass pic. Exactly. Yeah. Not showing it, <laughs> just still going out to a nice objects. restaurant, a nice dinner. I believe women can do that for themselves. But if you dress sexy, you both know it's for male attention. You want you like the looks, you like the validation, you like rejecting the men who may come <laughs> up to you. So it, it depends on how I mean you're we can just yourself. pose a simple question. How many how many of you go to sleep at night with your makeup on, heels, and your top and tight dress on? How oh, many none people? of you? Fantastic. Wait, wait, wait. So you don't dress up for yourself. <laughs> Damn you. Okay. Well, I need my skin to be clear. There's like, a difference wait, between wow. going to uh, sleep point. and interacting in day-to-day -day life. <laughs> no, but oh. are, do you guys wear these exact same clothes to go to sleep? When you guys go to a nice restaurant and wear, you know, your button ups or a tuxedo at a wedding, do you go to sleep naked. with your tuxedo? <laughs> no, of Dick course slugging. not. Dick your slugging. clothes are not the same. The clothes that you wear are very distinct category from the clothes that you go outside in. It doesn't mean that the clothes that you go outside in, you don't like them or you're only dressing for a certain person, et cetera, et cetera. Then why would you need to post it online? Well, but, here's the difference. We're not, we're not just, just, hold on, hold on. Here's yeah. a big difference here, though. <laughs> Men don't sit there and lie to themselves and say, I get dressed up and wear my clothes like this for me. Nah, we do it for the bitches. Men don't <laughs> lie about our intentions. Women do. That's the difference. Wait, so you guys don't wear nice watches and buy Lamborghinis and have nice houses, whatever. If a dude could, he could live on 20K per year and live in a shitty ass apartment with nothing. We do all this for the hoes. Yeah. I just want to lie I about it. Men yeah. will sit there and lie about their intentions of why they dress up and why they're sexy. It's for me. No, it's not. It's to attract the opposite gender. Men are honest about it. So we don't have to have this conversation about, right. do I sleep in my tuxedo? I've admitted that I do it for bitches. <laughs> Wait, I, I have an honest question just sure. because I, so you guys have never had an article or piece of clothing that you really like. That's like, regardless if women are all over you or not, you're like, I look good in this or I like this color. So I'm going to wear it. It's always for another woman. No, but what we're saying we're is not we're not the same not, criteria. We're not, what we're saying is we are not lying that the majority of things we do in terms of our image is to attract Wait, other women. That didn't answer the question. You, you just asked me <laughs> that if I like a piece of clothing, why wouldn't I wear it for myself? I'm saying we don't lie that the majority of things that we do wear is for women. Okay, this but there are, women. there are articles of clothing that you wear because you like them yourself. But, right. then, but then guess what you we'll do? About you right. start posting it online. You, oh, I like this piece of clothing. And then you start making, you try to make your boy feel insecure. You, you wear certain stuff. You post it. You post it on the internet, and then you claim that it's because you like it. But no, you really like the attention. You so claim. you mask. You mask the "I like it" for, for you really you. want attention. Have you never posted a picture for your homies? 
<laughs> no, 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 that's bullshit. No, how many times? Truth. How many times have it's y'all had? I know every single one of y'all had a one night stand, right? I know every single one of y'all have had a one night stand before. I'm just going off rip with that. <laughs> do you take your makeup off before you go to sleep with him, or do you wear your makeup and then wake up with your makeup? <laughs> nah, they keep it with your makeup on so you don't look <laughs> crazy. Guys, so you come on over here. Come on over here. Come on now. Y'all know y'all be leaving that makeup on. Fucking gotcha, eyelash hanging off that motherfucker. How many, YouTube, guys? How many one way. night stands have you had for you to know this? Oh, <laughs> a lot. Oh, wow. but I'm a man. He's though. honest though. He's, He's honest. Honest. I'm a man. Okay. And that what me? And that makes it okay. Hold on. I'm curious though. That's it what does. I'm meant to do. I'm a yeah. king. I for the guys, right? Okay. For the guys. Have you been checked? Could you just find yeah. all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Pull out game hey, strong. Let, I don't have kids. Let him talk, ladies. Could you could you define right what it means cheating for a girl on a guy's side? Like, as a, from a man's standpoint, what right. is cheating? Cheating. You said that, too. It's crazy that you said that, but you <laughs> still said that 50-50 with men and women cheating. But y'all cheat After. emotionally. Oh, sorry. Men don't cheat. No, you get... I, men don't care to... Like, I don't care to talk to a girl if I'm not fucking. I'm not going to have a conversation and ask you how your day was. I don't give a fuck about your life. I don't care. Are you coming over? Like, are you? Are, are we going here? We can still enjoy uh, an experience if I'm taking you, but I'm not going to sit here and chit-chat with a girl. I'm not fucking. So you just want to fucking dip? Yes. That's... Listen, Sometimes. That's why Doesn't I'm... Doesn't that get boring? This is a bigger... This, <laughs> so this, so is, a bigger, this is a bigger picture, yeah, though, I'm trying right. to paint. Yeah. Bigger picture I'm trying to paint. I don't see it. Um... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Close your mouth first. <laughs> <Same. But> anyway. <laughs> men can do this. Men can do this. Men can do this and it's not considered cheating. We, we oh, get okay. women though. Y'all can cheat emotionally. That's that's easy for y'all to do. Y'all do it every day. Y'all need, or the girls with men, y'all damn near do it. Maybe not her, but I would argue that even that emotional, emotional cheating yeah. is even it worse. Is. That's what it's I'm trying worse to say. Because if a woman's exactly. cheating, it, it's usually emotional, and that means she doesn't. And a man fuck just wants you. you to be his. That's all he wants in the purest sense, not because he's trying to control you. It's just a man is territorial. Women, y'all don't even want a guy that doesn't have experience. If I couldn't make you come, you wouldn't want to yeah. fuck with me. If I was a virgin and you were like, oh, he has no dick game, yeah, trash. But if I got over three hundred body count and I know how to make you squirt. You like, I, I want that, right? Because no. right. no, who wants a guy true. that any girl can walk around yeah, saying, oh, I had that? Yeah. What if I've been around the world? <laughs> you, you don't know make the 50 bodies right. I caught in Romania or the 50 I caught in that's South crazy. Africa? That's whatever. crazy. I have, I'm a just saying. I have a question. Hold on, real quick. Yeah, to answer Fresh's question, I believe it's anything emotional cheating, as we stated, and validation-seeking behavior. So dressing sexy on Instagram, going out to nightclubs, Presenting yourself as single, acting single, anything like that to me is cheating. Mm. Beyond the physical. Is Mark? Uh, I don't think men cheat when we have sex with other women. Uh, I wouldn't agree. <laughs> So, 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 so I'm explaining it so you can understand. Uh, uh, you ladies, understand. Ladies, share not before you. Uh... <laughs> so your your value as a as a woman to a man is sexual exclusivity, right? You being pure, you not being accessible to other men. A, a man is. Who defines him pure? You not being accessible to other men. <laughs> Who defines I'm pure? The man. Dates you. The man dates me. The man that's fucking everyone else besides your pure. Oh, oh, listen, listen. Yeah. Genius, 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 genius. A man provides and protects for you. You don't provide. You don't. You don't bring no provision. Or protection into the relationship. How okay. much you provide? What if you How much is a man providing? Please, what do you please, provide? Please, please, let him finish, so, so, okay, okay. okay. finish this point, then you can go ahead and challenge okay. me. Okay. So if you 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 cannot like what I'm saying, but mm -hmm. you being ran through does not make you valuable to men, right? Mm -hmm. We are supposed to provide and protect you. So what what you're bringing to us is that hey, this woman hasn't been with a hundred dudes, so I'm more inclined to provide and protect for you. Okay. Are you bringing provision to a relationship? Don't all of y'all want a man who makes more money than you? Is going to take care of the house. Is going to protect you when somebody comes and break in. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay, well, he's asking that you just not having fucked a hundred dudes. 
<laughs> and, 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 and short, ladies, um, women want success. Men want purity. Okay. Can I? Logically, things. logically speaking, if yeah. you're talking about provision, providing, the more people you fuck, the more people you might make pregnant, the less you're able to provide for me. So right? How, using so, your own. So, wait, wait, wait. So, well, using your own logic. I'm almost done. How about I'm keys? almost. Oh, how about, how about, how about I'm not, stop? That's how, statistic. Okay. How about how about how society has been run for centuries? Kings with with queens and, and 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 plenty of women Concubine. still provide. Exactly. Okay, whoa, 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 wait a second. Let's let her make her argument, and then, we'll, and then uh, Bismarck, I'll give it to you after. Let her make her argument. So you're arguing that. By him having sex with other girls, he has the chance of him having to provide for another woman. Go ahead. Yeah, continue. well, not just that. It's just it's a numbers game, right? The more people you fuck, the more people you might make, make pregnant, the less you can provide for a single individual other person. You have to divide that between as many people as you're fucking. Second of all, you're saying kings, but like historically speaking, throughout Europe, right, it was one king, one queen, maybe like the divorce head chopped off or whatever, but they still, during a period of time, is just one and one. Not just that, but the American, Lies. the American <laughs> nuclear family right which what this nation was built on was built on monogamy it was built on a man and a woman so right now you're saying that this great nation that america was made woman. out of so why you show her on instagram this but, so but a virgin woman a pure it doesn't woman. matter either way either way no either way not all the way either either way you have like it doesn't okay either way it doesn't change the fact that it's not men fucking a bunch of women let's be clear you don't want to accept the fact that Kings Men. often had concubines and like harems and all of that. That's in other King cultures. Henry, no, no. Okay, let's talk about, I'll just use King Henry, for example. Bef you know, he had like he had plenty of concubines. I mean, mm -hmm. Anne Boleyn became a queen by kicking Catherine off the throne because she was one of his whores. And he ended up falling in love with her and chose Anne Boleyn, got rid of Queen Catherine. And yeah, yeah and the then only way he through Anne Boleyn, he had another whore. And then she became the next queen after he chopped mm -hmm. off Anne's head. Pussy yeah, but the point is, he didn't have Anne Boleyn and the other queen. He had to get well, he rid of one to get the other king one. And in multiple time. queens, he said king, queen, and then the hoes, and that's what we're talking about. You can be the main girl, and he's still gonna fuck other bitches. Exactly. Like, who cares? If but you're the you're... one that's being taken care of, it doesn't matter. He's gonna do what the hell he's gonna do. Just okay. Hold on. But you're comparing you're Good. comparing all these men to kings. Only the top one right. percent are kings. And the so, rest so, so, are so fucking losers. You want the top percent? Listen. We're closer to kings than you are to queens. Maybe you are. <laughs> Maybe you are because you have a platform. You have money. You look good. But the rest of these people that are fucking, they're so, not but, kings. But we're, we're representing them. Okay, so, but the and we're telling you that <laughs> what we want mm -hmm. is not a hoe. And I understand. <laughs> I understand. But I you, don't. I don't want you're that not either. Going for but I'm just men. saying. Uh, exactly. You're not going for these average men. We're talking about the one percent. You want someone who's more successful. You want someone right. who could provide. Right, That's right, right. going to be a king. Cool. Not, no, I'm not arguing Joe. with you. I I completely agree with you. But I'm just saying, most of these men are not king. They do not provide but anything. Those men aren't they what don't we're have talking money. about. Okay, so but the majority matter. we can't we can't we can't talk about this little tiny bit and forget about the rest of the majority. So, All right, ladies, so, so let me ask you guys a quick question, because you mentioned him having sex with girls, him having to potentially share resources, whatever. Great arguments. Fantastic. But let me ask you this. Who controls sex? Women. Women. Oh, yes. So that means that the woman has to have some agency to make sure that the guy that she's having sex with is high value enough where, OK, if this guy was to fuck other bitches, which he probably is prone to do biologically and what he wants to do, let me make sure that he's high value enough to not just fuck me. But if he did fuck other girls, I'm willing to accept it. So it's on the woman to assess the man's value. See how it comes back to you guys and you got to have some agency here? No, absolutely. You have to respect yourself. You got to find a okay. man that respects So you that mentioned, because she was making the argument, well, if he has sex with a bunch of girls, there's a chance that he might have to share the resources. Well, it's on you to make sure that you pick the right guy, right, right mm -hmm. to have sex with. Sure, I, I don't disagree with that. Um, but you were trying to take the agency away, saying, <laughs> oh, well, he's going to have sex with all these other girls and he might share resources with them. Oh, well, that's why I'm that's saying why that's why the argument. vast majority of women... Um, and men as well. The vast majority of both of them are only yeah. okay with monogamous relationships because they know that, guess what? The more you start sleeping around, the more you're with other people, the less likely you are able to commit to one another. That's Incorrect. why the vast majority... No, that's a statistic. That. That's Hold literally... You, you go to use men, let, me, let me be very clear about this. Most men are monogamous out of necessity. Right. But if given the option, they would be polygamous with more than one woman. But most men have to be monogamous. The reality is what you're talking about, a nuclear family being monogamous, whatever... It was created to allow men that were normal or of lower status to have sexual access. Statistically speaking, um, monogamous societies tend to be more stable. 
than areas where where it's polygamous. Okay, with your logic, then every single billionaire, which this is not true, I'm gonna just tell you straight up sure. ahead of time, that's not true. You know that. Every single billionaire would have a million side hoes. I'm sure they do. That's they, not true, though. We can. have a couple sure. who not do, every, but not every single but the one. Majority, the vast majority the of vast men ma- who are of, who who are of that high status have thousands of girls after mm-hmm. them, and yes, they are going. For but, just because they the have after majority. people but, after them doesn't mean they're actually sleeping with a bunch of other people. That would be on the fucking news every single day. Then, just like how it has been when that's somebody has cheated. That's why NDAs exist. That's why yeah. NDAs exist. That's why they do things uh, behind the scenes. That's why they hire people like Epstein to do strange stuff in islands. Like this is why the wealthy do the things that they do to protect their privacy because the thing is is that they understand that for me to get deals to get business opportunities etc i need to Same present image. a nuclear family presents a certain image but the reality is men that have power that have status have always had multiple women that's just how it is and women are okay with sharing higher status men it's been that way i think it's are very all in open relationships i i think i think it's kind of um i don't want to say crazy but a little bit to believe that this is a giant secret kept by all the billionaires that somehow hasn't been like you know published in a magazine there hasn't been pictures whenever a billionaire has an affair people find out through the fucking media easy okay there's uh, a reason why jeff bezos what? one of the richest mans in the world couldn't hide his fucking affair is he lame as how shit long he 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 harder. what about bill gates how long was he cheating on his wife um either way it got out That's he exactly. doesn't have a, you also, how long, you don't how think long she, long she knew, knew she knew it took she years, years. years. So you, i get your point but it's still mute because once again no get, but the sorry continue finish and then i'll go I'm just saying the image that they have to protect as a billionaire has to be a family, kids, and that's the purity, right? However, behind the scenes, like Epstein Ellen, you don't know what's happening. We're just saying, look, most men want multiple women. And if you're that high value, you're going to have options. Okay. It's a choice. I'm not denying the fact that you have options. The point that I'm denying is this idea that, oh, you know, there's all these billionaires cheating on all these people. And we don't know because it's such a well-kept secret when some of the richest men in the world have had their affairs easily the second a news media tablet can get it. I express it to the entire world. Okay. So if you have um, Jeff Bezos, if you have like Bill Gates or whatever, having these affairs exposed, I strongly doubt that all the other fucking billionaires are able to somehow keep it more quiet. Okay. Here's the thing. The, the, one of the biggest predicators on men having lots of sex is financial stability and having a lot of money. Okay. So just because you might not see it and the news doesn't report it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going on. Okay. Men that are successful, that have money, that have status, typically have more than one woman. It's just the way it is. It's been that way since the beginning of time. Human beings typically leave trends. It is what it is, man. I have a question I mean, for you. Just to, like after this point here. So let's say, for example, right? You want a high value guy, got a successful millionaire, billionaire, all the like, right? How do you stop him from cheating on you? Like, how do you stop him from cheating on you all the way? Great question. What do you mean? Like, you want me to stop? Like, su- I want to say, let's say you want this man. Let's say you get him. How do you? Stop him from cheating on you. If I have to worry in my relationship, if I'm so insecure that the guy's going to cheat on me, I would fucking divorce him. I would leave him. I have enough self-respect to say like, holy fuck, this is not a healthy or stable relationship if I'm worrying all the fucking time about him cheating on me. So you're Screw that. Guy, you're I'm get, out. You're going to get with a guy that can't provide is going to cheat on you. you know <laughs> what do you mean? There's men who can provide who will not cheat on you, which is so the vast no, majority of men he's are probably monogamous. Probably, he's, probably probably he's probably in your friend zone. He's probably a guy on Twitch. Okay. okay, so basically you're saying nothing. You, you can't okay, think, no, right? no, what I'm saying is that you guys are painting this picture of men, which is honestly derogatory towards no, men. Yes, no, you guys no. are saying no, men are honest. basically animals no, who can't control their no. sexual lusts. We lust. want you to accept our nature <laughs> and stop being Oh animals. my God. <laughs> so your you nature is that you can't keep your dick in your pants. That's your nature. Listen, listen, genius. Every man people want you other need, people you help with but monogamy uh, is a choice to help. being help dedicated is a choice no, no, and you know no, no, what no, no, no. i think men are better than that i no, think men aren't no, these like no. animals that no. oh, they no. have a dick don't they don't must fuck the nearest pussy like i don't think men are like that crazy you are a real man if you find a guy that's high value like you have before you said hopefully it's not cap how would you stop him from cheating on you? How would you stop that? I won't. What do you mean? I can't. Okay. What about you? How would you stop it? There's no way to. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, I don't feel like they're honest about there's, it. So there's it only just, one it way. just kind of has to happen. If you, if you had an option to say, you know what? I'll give him pussy every day. I'll cook for him. How would you see, stop it? See? Um, Wouldn't even do it. I... Cheap I probably no. <laughs> I, I mean, I feel like I already cook for men, so I'd be fucking pissed if he fucking if I was up at four a.m. cooking for him and he cheated on me. So you can't do anything, right? 
Yeah, it is what it is. You can't stop a man from cheating. If he wants to cheat, he's going to cheat. Whether you make him block everyone or whatever. Uh What about you? How are you going to stop it? How am I gonna How am I gonna stop an, a a grown adult from fucking somebody else? Yes, a divorce. Right. Mm-hmm. About, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like that. So nothing, right? No. What about you? You don't. You what don't about stop you? Him. You can't. What about you? If you're more financially stable than him. What the hell? No. No. Let me ask you first. 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 Let me ask what do you what do you say? I'm gonna give you the best way. I'm gonna give you the best your best bet because I got it. And if you guys are willing to do it for your man, mm-hmm. you will never be cheated on. Eat their ass. The only. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, if you want to not get, if you y'all going wrong, if you had if you had this option to do, would you take it? I'm gonna explain it to you. Mm. The only way for your man of your dreams to not cheat on you is for you to wake him up with head every day <laughs> and throw that booty on him every I call single bullshit. day. I call threesome. Guess what? Threesome. Guess, guess what? Guess it's what? The only way. If his oh, sack was is gonna drained, make me cheat you. if his ball sack was drained every single day, he wouldn't even be able to fuck a girl. <laughs> Facts. Oh, he gonna find he a way. He wouldn't even be able to. He gonna find a way. But if you making yeah. sure that his nuts is busted every day in and day out. There's that's gonna be the, a little. Nugget. What if that's the only uh, fail-proof plan to make sure he doesn't? I don't cheat believe him? that. Would you yeah, do it? I agree with her. Would you do it? Yeah, of course. He Would be you doing do it? that anyway? No. Why not? Just, just because of the see, they don't even like, like giving men what they want. Him, like, they don't like giving men what they truly want. But I wouldn't do it for you not to not do it. But I would do it because I like how you look when I do it. That's I like it. But alongside with that, to give. A, di- a direct answer because I thought about this is that you got to get your man to a point where his emotions override his nature to where even though he still wants to act on cheating, he values you so much and you provide him, support him, not provide for him, but support him so much and just su- you're not do, do all the things that he doesn't even have the energy or desire to just see or do anything with in, any other girl. And then that might take some time and you might have to be one of the baddest girls he's ever gotten with, you know? So uh, basically his emotions have to override his, his nature, can but that I could interject? be temporary. Let for example, can I interject? for example, let me ask something real, go ahead and interject your point. Then I'll ask the ladies. A if you get a man, if a man gets to the point where his emotions override his nature as a man, which his nature is masculinity, I'm no longer respecting that man. Fuck that. That's that's a simp. That's a soy boy. So like, you're not gonna you're you're gonna no. not respect a man for not cheating on me. I'm not gonna respect a man that's more emotional than his masculine state. Absolutely not. Okay, so cheat on her. Bet. That's fine. <laughs> All right. What about you? Uh, what was that? No. Oh. Go ahead. How would you? I women just need to accept accept the fact that um a man is going to want to exercise options. It's your job to pick the man who at least can provide for you and protect you. Damn. Okay. I've never then been I'm cheated gonna on, but I'm going to XYZ my So, ladies, no. that's so I have to be okay with STDs. The, the question I just <laughs> asked earlier, right? That's right. your question. You can't stop a guy from cheating. It's his choice, ultimately. And he will think, once again, like, for example, most guys that want to cheat, they can't because they're not the man that they want to be or they're not successful. But if, but if they are successful, they're going to cheat eventually. All right, ladies, let me ask a question. question. Raise your hands if you want a man that's taller than you. <laughs> Raise your hands. <laughs> that's all of you. Okay. Sure. Raise your hands if you want a man that has uh, more money than you. Or makes more money than you? Okay. Don't lie. Okay. That's most of you. Raise a hand if you want a guy who is a leader and can protect you. Okay. You, you capping over there, man. All right. I don't know. Shit, I, shit. I I don't want to fight against every single point. Um, I okay, just let okay. me continue on. Okay. It, it, she's gonna tr- be in a contrarian. It's fine. No, no, no. Raise I just a... don't know what you mean by exactly leadership and protect. Okay. But I it's, yeah. it's okay. very self-explanatory. The man leads the relationship and you follow him. And he protects you from danger. If somebody, broke, if somebody broke into you, I'm sorry. More physically right. aware. Okay. So, can I ask you a question? No, okay. Let me finish. Continue on. Okay, continue. Like, right. Yeah. So, um, and do you want a man that's more competent than you? Raise your hands. Wait. Okay. So what if I went ahead and said that all of you guys are stupid, gold digging, <laughs> dumbass, weak hoes? How would that make you feel? Bye. Sad. It's ridiculous, right? Yeah. That's me not accepting female nature. Right. See, I understand and accept female nature that women look for certain things in men. I accept it and I rise up to the occasion because I know what women want. Why is it when we tell you guys that men always want a multitude of women, we want variety, etc. 
you say dumb shit. Like, oh, why can't you keep your dick in your pants? Why can't you control yourself? Blah, blah, blah. You know what? You guys all need to fucking control yourselves. They short, broke, weak men that don't have money and just deal with them. Why? Now, I would sound crazy for saying that, would I? But here's the thing. We don't demonize what women want. We only demonize what men want. Why is it that a man busts his ass to get to a certain point and he finally has the ability to attract multiple women and y'all want to reel it in and say, no, be monogamous to me even though I didn't earn my value and you earned your value. See how ridiculous that sounds? You're trying to tell a self-made millionaire how to spend his money when you're a trust fund baby? Why is he settling to begin with, though? What do you mean settling? Why, like, you're saying, like, the woman, he would have to cheat on the woman. She'd be like, no, don't. Like, why would he want to cheat if he's not settling, if the woman gives him everything? Because, okay. because men want different women, period. Just like you want a guy, right? You want to settle on the best guy and get that quality. We want to settle on the most girls and get that quantity. We're not the same. So we just forgot about integrity, right? Right. Oh, yeah. now it's no. integrity. No. Oh, you know what? Where's your integrity? <laughs> Dating guys like that. Seven. Where's Show your integrity? Your I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, you said my mother didn't say six. Stop the show. Stop the show. You just said taller. Stop the show. Why is it that my preferences are always hit with some kind of moral bullshit gymnastics, but your standards and what you want are never hit with morals? Why is it that it's okay for you to demand a man that's better you in every single regard? Money, height, income, competence, take care of you, provisioning for you. I just want to fuck some other bitch. You telling me I can't do it? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you exactly why. Because if if you're the leader, right, and I'm following you, why the fuck would I, why would I follow a dumbass that has no money? That's why I'm following you, right? That's, that's the whole fucking point. Yeah. And then he wants to fuck. Other bitches. <laughs> he then wants... he could go get another bitch. And Wait, can I, ask, can I ask? Can I ask? That's fine. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Let me say, let me a man of God me. will never fucking cheat on you. Uh, you have to find uh, a man of God. Wait, not a woman of God. But a woman of God. Exactly. It's anybody virgin. My body count. My body count is less than my one hand. But you're not a virgin. But you're not a virgin. No. No, because I have no. That, that, is a, that, is a, that does not case, define a woman close, of God. Case, Read the fucking Bible. Close, Read the yes, fucking Quran. Close, that is not what a woman of God case, is. Close. Jesus, no, no, no. Eric, because I'm married to no, 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 I can't. I absolutely can't. And you know what? Let me fucking talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Wait, let me finish. She got a third eye. Put a cross on her third eye. At least let me define my. All right, go Jesus, Jesus saved Mary, right? And what was she doing? She was hoeing. Yo, okay? you disgracing the Bible right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do not tell me this. I was raised in the church. I studied this shit. Don't no, fucking tell me anything. No, okay, then no, what did you do? Because you're not a man of God. You're not a man of God. You're 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 a Divorce him before oh, death. But I gave him, so, I gave him multiple chances. So, I gave him so multiple chances. So as a woman chances. of God, what do you do? As a duty, if, you stick it. No, no, you stick it you through. If I could, it I would have. I, no, no, no. I promise no, to God. See, once again, you're not a woman of God. You're going to stick it through. I'm, I'm just saying, at that point, you can't argue with him saying you got to be a man of God. That's all I'm saying. But no, 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 no. Right, but start, the right, Bible right. says, the Bible yeah. says, if a man, if a man doesn't, do the things that he's supposed to do, then you are allowed to divorce him. Were you a virgin when you married him? Yes. Okay, and then you racked the bodies after him. <laughs> I know. I think I went in another That's relationship, so and, and it was and a now, long-term relationship, and I just got out. Okay, so don't so you, talk about so me. Don't your, talk about my left, pussy when you don't know nothing so, about so, so, my so, pussy. Wait, wait, wait. You left your man because he couldn't provide. You didn't stick with him. Now you rock their bodies, and now you want me to. I give stayed you a with him for again. seven, eight years. It, it, you should have stuck with him longer. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna fucking live in a you fucking cardboard box. He was young. I was young. Then, then we got you married at eighteen. Like, why imagine. Why did you pick him? Then? Because he's a he's a good, honest man, and so, I love him. Uh, I still oh, oh, oh. no, no, no. But the thing is, lied. I still love him, and I still respect him as a person. It's just he did not provide the things that I needed to provide, and I warned him, and I warned him, and I warned him a lot. <laughs> to and and I was like, part, it's God, exactly. it's God. Sickness, it's health, health, health. Let me no make wealth. this point. Go ahead. Let me make this point real quick. Like, it wasn't just not about the, the wealth. That, it's not the fact that uh, a guy would per se want to cheat. Like mm-hmm. me personally, I don't. 
I don't know anything don't, about cheating. I don't listen. Just let me speak real okay. quick, damn baby. Shit. <laughs> I, I'm listening. Um, yeah. So it's not necessarily that I want to cheat, right? But it's like you know, when I've been in relationships, my girlfriend, even if I wanted to be monogamous, she cannot handle my testosterone levels. Facts. Right. Like she, she wasn't can't fucking even, you a lot. She no. She she can't handle it. It's too much. So I wouldn't even put that on her like this. But if I said, you know what, babe, you can't even. Hey, if I found somebody else that just, you know, seen me parked outside, I had some girl come up to me. I'm parked outside the gym. Hey, your car's nice. I'd like to suck your dick. Am I supposed to just be like, no? Yeah, probably. Really? I should because, just say no to that? Yeah, I'm okay. not going to let anybody give me head. I'm not going to let anybody fuck me. So, like, why well, would you? Well, you're a woman, though. Yeah. I'm a man. Right. Right. Herpes right. off of that. You right. ever right. okay with it? How the fuck you? How the fuck you? You don't think I did my three point inspection? Yeah. No. It's crazy. Um, I thought you were talking. I'm only fast, girl. All right, you know what, ladies, I got a question for y'all because it's very difficult for you guys, I've noticed, to understand this concept. So let's go into a dream world real quick. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> let's say we both grew up in the same neighborhood, okay? Next door neighbors, okay? I grew up very privileged, rich, okay? You, on the other hand, grew up very poor, all right? So at 18 years old, I get $2 million, give it to me. I'm a trust fund baby. You, on the other hand, you got to work for it. You got to go to college, you start up a business, you make a couple real estate investments, etc. 10 years down the line, right? Fast forward. I'm 28, you're 28, right? We're at a high school reunion. And now you're worth $2 million, but I spent my money. I was partying on Instagram. I was in Vegas. I was fucking a bunch of whores, doing cocaine. You saw me living the life, okay? Then I come and I tell you at this high school graduation, and you know that I lost my wealth, but I'm you know, trying to flex a little bit. Hey, invest in this crypto coin. You're going to make a bunch of fucking money. Would you take my financial advice seriously? Yes or no? Start here. No. Why not? Because you're a loser. Okay. <laughs> nope. What about you? No. Why not? Because you lost your money. Nope. What about you? I would take it into consideration. Okay. Would you take my advice seriously or would you listen to it more from a preventative standpoint? Not I, what not to do. <clears throat> I would listen to it more from a preventative perspective. Okay. So you wouldn't take me seriously. You would be like, oh, I'm not going to do what this nigga did. Nope. All right. What about you? I, I wouldn't take it seriously. Why not? He, he, he just got his money from his family. Hmm. He's doing cocaine. That means he's doing drugs. Why the why would I even listen to him? He's not disciplined. No. Okay. Spend my money like an idiot. Nope. What about you? Mm -hmm. No. Why not? So I didn't even do it. Why are you broke? Okay. Fair enough. Nope. What about you? No. Why not? Same thing. Why don't you have any money left? Okay. Mm. Nope. What about you? Would you take my financial advice seriously? No, I would. Why I not? would listen. Well, I would listen to what you're saying and find out for myself, right? Research online, et cetera, et cetera, before mm. I make a final decision. But based on what you said before, um, it doesn't seem like you are good with your own money. Okay, fantastic. Nope. So, look, ladies. <laughs> you triggered my trap card! That's exactly how men feel when women try to tell us how many bitches we could fuck. Because let me explain. You guys, oh yeah, I know. You're like, wait, what the hell? Let me explain. Women are given their value up front. By the time you're 18, you basically get a million dollar check. Okay? It's up to you how you want to spend it. You're supposed to get it when you're at your peak. Spend that money and get the best guy. You get older, that money runs out, bam, you gambled it away, you're fucking done. Men, on the other hand, we're not giving that check up front. We have to earn it through years, tears, and through some fear, okay? So men have to earn their value, women are given their value. So how the fuck are you going to tell a self-made millionaire how to spend their money, i.e., how many bitches I could fuck, when you got your money up front? The problem here... Wait, hold on. Please explain that to me. <laughs> how is a, a self-made millionaire going to be told how to spend their money... By a trust fund baby. By your guys' own answers, you want to take advice from a trust fund baby. So why should we listen to y'all when it comes to our sexuality? The problem here is that you're valuing a woman's value, right? Uh -huh. Based on how much sex she has. You're saying the more sex she has, the more she's devalued. Mm -hmm. Except the problem here is that the vast majority of men don't view it that way. Now, or at least in the United States, let's be clear. The vast majority Wait, whoa, 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 let I me finish, let me finish, I'll clarify. Fuck your finishing, to clarify what you were trying to say so I understand what you're trying to finish. two things. Okay, yeah. So you said men don't value what? They don't value what? Explain. Okay, I'm saying that the whole idea of like, oh yeah, like the vast majority of men like only want like pure, botanical virgins. Okay. At least in the United States, that's okay. not the case. Okay. Now you can argue that men should value that, et cetera, et cetera. But that does not explain our current present day reality. Okay. Because the vast majority of men would be okay fucking an OnlyFans girl. In okay. fact, they simp over OnlyFans girls. Marry them. Right. Yeah. So you're talking about like the value. I mean, 
They don't I have no, but they're willing to empty their wallets for them. They like fuck, them. That's, they're Your willing to give. They're willing to give. They're willing to give, they're willing to give all their money to, to them. Married. Okay, is this not true? Are you guys denying the fact that there's a bunch of men out there willing to empty all their fucking pockets to for fuck an OnlyFans girl? That doesn't matter. They're it, giving it all their matter. monetary wealth to an OnlyFans girl. You don't understand. I don't post you like twenty times. See, here's the problem that you're you're not you're not realizing here. Number one, men do care about a woman's past significantly. Just like women care about a man's future, men care about a woman's past, okay? So with that said, what, when a man wants to have sex with a girl versus commit to a girl are two completely different things. You're making the cardinal mistake that a lot of modern-day women do, and you're conflating sexual attraction with relationship attraction. It's not the same thing. A girl that I'm willing to have sex with is not the same as a woman I'm willing to give my last name to. Yep. Completely different. You're also confusing uh, regular simps with guys who have value. Like, facts. it's totally different. It's not even the same league type shit. I can say one thing, so based on my experience, because I was the one with the with the one you're calling King, because he was able to provide him more and more than... Uh, the yeah. normal things and everything. Mm -hmm. I did everything for him, uh, mm -hmm. like everything, and I got shit on mm -hmm. multiple times. Okay. Spending six months behind mm -hmm. him, uh, trying to do everything. Also, the things you said, right? That's I'm saying. He was throwing that booty on him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, same. Uh, that's same. Cap. same. That's cap. That's cap. He was keep cheating on me. Even worse. Even worse. When I was doing that, even worse. Is so, your head game trash? Yeah. Before she tells the story about how she was cheating but, on no, 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 but, Hold wait. on, before you tell the story, because well, that's going to go into a whole other topic. Ladies, do you understand? Are you paying attention? Do you understand the concept, what I'm trying to say here with, as a trust fund baby, which all of you are as women, you cannot tell a self-made millionaire, men, how to spend their currency. Okay. Because we have to build ourselves up to even be able to have sex with other women. You don't have to build yourself up to attract men. Okay, and I want to say something about this. Not my experience. This is a small story. So I had experience, and I'm going to say in the billionaires, the, the billionaires more successful are the, are the ones uh, they are having less sex uh, than everybody. Okay. Like I'm saying, sorry, maybe Going I... To your guy, was your guy rich? Yeah. He was successful? Yeah. Hmm. He was attractive? Yeah. And you think he's going to be loyal to just you? No. No, so why are you surprised but that he, he cheated wasn't, on you then? It, it, it wasn't that smart. At the end, it wasn't that smart. But why, why are you surprised that he cheated on you then? I wasn't surprised. I mean, you're complaining about it right now. No, 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 no. I, I was telling my story. I wasn't surprised. I was expecting that. Like, okay. at one point, I was expecting that. Okay. I tried to fight with that. And as she said before, it begins a toxic relationship. I wasn't healthy. I wasn't happy. So I left. Okay. Because there's a way to stop to cheating into a man. And uh, I upset that. But I, I'm gonna say there's not even a way to stop a woman to cheat. That's another fact. Do you think that was a smart decision to leave that man? Yeah. How long absolutely. were you all together? Three years. And Hard he's a millionaire? Man. Yeah. Attractive? Yeah. Successful? Yeah. Okay, what do you think is more rare, him or you? Me. Always. That's your problem. In what well, way? She's a fashion designer, way? though. Incredible. Like, how many fashion, fashion designers compared to a self made millionaire? Are you I serious? I don't care about the millions. 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 I care to come back home and have a and have a boyfriend so, so next to me. No, you want to be happy? Right, right. Because I was unhealthy. I was depressed, and I will never put me. I never put my job again. That's the way. Did you research how to get better head though? <laughs> like, look at it, like, let me learn. I don't want to have a Why don't you try? Why don't you research it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got something smart. I'm good at what I do. Go ahead. I don't want to ask her a question. Mm. Go ahead. That makes the question. So now you're single. Yeah. How old? Hmm? How old? She's 25. 25. And you think you're going to get a better mate or a worse mate? I don't care to get a better man. So you're going to get older? L like, wait, <laughs> and, wait, and wait, get wait. A worse wait, man? wait, 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 wait. I'm going to answer to you. I'm going to answer to you. For me, the better man is not in the way you're looking at. Okay. In the way you're looking at, it's a, a better man or with the same amount of money or more, right? No, I'm telling you, the the, the, the better man you think is still going to cheat on you. 
<laughs> no, don't. And he's you. not the better man. No, no, it's not. I, I better am man. telling you what's going to happen. No, he's still going to cheat. He's not wait, the better man. Wait, wait, you didn't count one thing. So I'm trying to stay by myself all my entire life. So you want to be single forever? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If I need to find that a man okay. like this, yeah, I want. I'm gonna be single oh, forever. Or you should just accept the fact. Oh, oh, I, don't no. I don't fucking accept that fact. I don't fucking accept that fact. Ladies, let me let me make something painfully clear to all of you right now. Here's the problem with modern day women. A lot of you guys overinflate your sense of self worth. The reality is, you're not that special. There's plenty of girls. Why you're that, that special then? Because he's a million we know, no, young. Well, first off, oh, can, can, uh, can I finish my point? Uh, yeah. What I'm trying to say is, in the grand scheme of things, when it comes to women and what men are attracted to, you are not that special. The guy that you had is rarer than you are. He can replace you faster than you can replace him. Hence, why he had other girls. That's right. What I'm trying to explain. Me. It's okay. Because yeah. oh he wants God. sex again. Anyway, because <laughs> yeah. your profile's that's, that's that's what I'm saying. Women that's make why. the biggest mistake no, and think, "Oh, I got one millionaire that was attractive. I can find another one." The reality is, when you find the other one, he's gonna fuck girls too. So you got to make a decision. If you're gonna be with a higher status guy, a high value guy. You have no leverage. He I already told him my decision. Yeah. But here's the thing. You find another one, he's going to fuck other bitches exactly. too. Exactly. Right. You know what you got to do, though? If you want to find this loyal guy, your man, that's that's better, you got to go all the way down. Yeah. You got to pick a simp that's just going to work. No, no there's a third option you do His not account. Gonna be trash. I can stay by myself. But there's a third option there's I can stay trash. by myself. Okay, that's, you can say that true. now because you're 25 and men still attract you, but I promise you by the time you're 30, 31, 32, 33, when you don't get the same level of attention because we brought a bunch of girls here that are that were former feminists and they regret Going down that road and thinking I'm gonna for be me, by myself. For me, this is offensive. For me, this is offensive. No, wait, 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 wait. Can I how's, say how's, something? What's offensive? What's offensive? What's offensive? Uh, thinking about uh, a girl at 32, 20, uh, 33 or something, she will feel alone or something because she doesn't have a man. That's reality. That's not reality. It's not reality. It's not reality. You can deny it. So no, because it's not reality. I'm actually at my my one year anniversary marker, fresh and fit, and I actually made the same argument you were making my first day here, and I'm gonna tell you you're completely wrong because my mind has completely switch and change i was lonely like i started realizing i will come back i was lonely all of that and i'm i'm a little bit older than you no it's true as a woman bi oh, biologically on. you want something you want someone else you don't want to be yeah. alone you don't want to no, be alone i have, with a, I have friends at 35 they are alone and they are completely fine so that's so, that's that's oh, you want to be alone for the rest of your life if I need to find every time a man who's to tell me or something yes i'd rather stay alone i have a gift for you there you go. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I have a dog. I have a dog. Uh, and you know early. what? And That's you know what happened? And, 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 and they can confirm in the lobby while, while I was waiting to come here, a man with a dog asked to ask, her, oh, uh, I have a dog food brand or something. Who has a dog? And I'm True. like, yeah, I have a little dog. So he gives it to me a pack of food for my dog. He wants to smash. Look, yeah, man, to look. <laughs> women are social creatures. This has been shown in the, what they go into work, what they like to do. Women are social creatures. They like to be around people that they love. OK, now you can say my career, I can be by myself, blah, blah, blah. That's fantastic when you're 25 and you're still attractive and you have options. As you get older, your options are going to dry up. You're not going to be able to get as many men. And you're just going to start to the walls are going to come in and you're going to be like, damn, I'm getting older. I'm not as attractive as I used to be. They're picking these younger girls. I used to date a millionaire. Why can't I attract one now? And you're going to start to realize, damn, I don't derive as much pleasure from a career as I want. Women are not built to work long term like men, and they don't derive the same pleasure from success as men. Women want a family and children. That is the biggest predicate on happiness. Myron, that is so, that is that's so not, interesting. That needs to be clarified. We're not an object. You're describing an object. No. You're not describing a woman. You're describing an object. Actually, I describe the human being that wants to be social. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sixty-four like, percent of women are uh, uh, thirty and up, which I'm sure you know about this too. It was even on CNN. They've been talking about it. Men and women reporting being single and unhappy was the highlight. Women, sixty-four percent, my age and up. I have so a. That's I have a. I I was married, right? And and I was like the statistics, everything, blah blah blah. And I was so unhappy. So whoever's watching this, like, even if he is a millionaire, I've, I've met a plenty of millionaires, and they're they're sad and pieces of shit you know what right. i mean choose the man that makes you happy that's the end of like you you have you to be happy it, still left it. Exactly. i was I fucking 21 jesus christ what do you want me to do that's you want me to stay with somebody you want me to i only no fuck that shit no <laughs> listen i want to be fucking think, happy i don't want to hey, fucking stay yo, with yo, a guy yo, that yo, can't yo. fucking do shit think, for me use your brain for a second okay use your fucking brain too 
That's what you're supposed to build with him. Do you want to build with him? Build a fucking house then. Okay, so you want to... can't even fucking build a house. So use your logic. I had to tell you what tools were. Use your logic. Use your logic. Use your logic. Okay. You gave up on a guy at 21. Uh Uh-huh. But you want a guy who's more successful, older, more established, Mm -hmm. to then only give you loyalty. I'm not, I'm not asking sense? for loyalty. Look, the problem with me is I, I've never, I've never been cheated on. I don't cheat. So like, that's not to my, that's not, <laughs> to, yeah, to my knowledge, whatever. That's not like loyal. Like, that's not a thing that I think about. Like, I, I don't, I so, don't really so, care. So what are you looking for in your next relationship? <clears throat> I want somebody that can make me happy and they want a house. And, and they, they want to, uh, they want, and then money. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you gonna fucking let me fucking answer? No, or you're gonna I'm fucking just, speak I'm over just me? Being huh? whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not, I'm not saying whoa, it in a mean way. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not saying no, 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 it in a mean no, 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 way. Hey, I didn't chill, mean it. Hey, hey, I love hey, you. Listen, no, shut, shut, shut the fuck up. All right, <laughs> calm the fuck down. Respect our guests on our platform. All right, your last warning. I'm breaking the fourth wall here. Okay, calm the fuck down, Dominican. All right, go ahead. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You were making your point. You want a guy, you said, with I'm what? Done. Build it's you a okay. home and what? I mean, you just got to be respectful of the platform. No, That's I, it. I do respect them. That's well, I, I respect mean, all you, three of them. You're you're being very disrespectful a second ago. Go ahead and make your point. I just... <laughs> go ahead, make your point, please. I just, I, just, I just don't like being... Like, you don't want to be interrupted. I don't like being interrupted. So if we could just not interrupt each other, then I won't curse at you. Okay. okay. You don't have to curse when you... Yeah, yeah. Curse yeah. At you if you say, please let me speak. But go ahead, make your point, please. You won't be interrupted. Go ahead. Dominican. Uh, what was the question? No, you were talking. You, you were talking about um, what you want in a man. What you want in a man moving forward. And what you're looking for. You said something about building a home and then you were continuing being happy. On and being happy. I just want to be happy and like in a farm. And I, I just want him <laughs> to be like a God, like a man of God. God like, fearing man. Wait, 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 hold on. Yeah. Man? That's all I want. It, I'm it's not. Your, it's your Instagram right here. Okay? What? Oh, Damn. Thank you. Oh, she so, looks good. Uh, oh my she's your mom. Oh, there this we go. The, this oh, is the guy. Yeah, yeah. Woman. Look at the Bible yeah, verses, though. <laughs> <laughs> she got Bible verses she in the pit. So God, God. 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 woman, guys. Oh, oh my God. God. I do look so, a woman let me ask you this: um, Do you think a guy that is a you know a godly man, religious, etc., would look at this profile and take you seriously? No. But I do look really good. So, so, wow. so let me ask you a question. I was sixteen right there. So let's let's not. I was wait, 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 sixteen wait, wait, wait. right can there. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. So, I, can I ask you a question? So you're yeah. not being congruent with what you say you are. I understand. You think I'm a hypocrite because I like because you just claim you, you just said it. I'm this 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 this. But look what you're portraying. Yeah, I understand. Okay, I'm not. I'm not arguing with you. So how? Why do you deserve a man that should give you all of that? I think because I, I I have a really strong faith in God, so like if, but you just if we lie. don't, we can't talk about I understand. Yeah, I, I understand. Like my my profile doesn't match like how I think. You know what I mean? And that's I, I understand. But in a in a spiritual God, level, in a mental level, oh. I need I need to have that. So so you want to put on a mask? And I'll, delete, I'll mask. delete my whole Instagram for him. Like I swear to God, I'll really? My whole, but this is who you are. Yeah. When I was in a relationship, I didn't post. I wasn't on Twitter. I wasn't on anything. All right, let me ask you a question. Let's say the guy, you do meet him or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. And, um, well, let's go into a scenario, right? Let's say I meet you at the club, but I'm wearing baggy jean shorts and a dirty white t-shirt. Would you give me a chance? No, I wouldn't even let you touch me. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so why do you expect the guy of your dreams to look at that Instagram and give you a chance? Well, I, is he meeting me on Instagram? That's my point. People are going to sit reply, there. I don't reply to my hold Instagram. Hold on, hold on. Okay. My point is this. Why is it that you are okay with judging a boat by its cover and disqualifying a man, but men can easily do that to you as well, and you don't understand that? When did I say I was judging him by his You cover? literally just a, sec- a second oh, ago. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, see? <laughs> but so, the problem is that women want to be able to disqualify men, but not be disqualified themselves. And the difference is this. Mm-hmm. Women co- curve overtly. Men co- uh, you know, curve covertly. Mm-hmm. So I'll look at your Instagram, and I'll disqualify you off rip. You said some mm-hmm. BS about, oh, my spirituality, and I'm a good woman, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go ahead and get to know you. I'm going to assume you're just a whore. Just like you. Look at me. He's dressed poorly. I'm not going to give him a chance. You might not know. I'm a multimillionaire. I'm ripped under my t-shirt. I'm a good guy. But you would never give me a chance. So why do you expect the guy to give you a chance when you portray yourself that way? Yeah, I've talked to niggas with, like, sketchers and shit. (laughs) (laughs) No, but but you get what he's saying, right? Yeah, I do. He's saying, with that Instagram up right now, the same with the guy of your dreams, he'll be like, you know what? After seeing this, I'm good. And I'll keep it a thousand with yeah, you. I, I look. It. I just looked at the Instagram. I'm that going to good. assume you're promiscuous and a whore. I am definitely promiscuous. I like to fuck. 
me and you are the same except like my body count is way less than yours okay but you just you just, you <laughs> just went on a rant i'm not gonna argue with that but can i say something <laughs> She has something and then we can... And in chats, and in chats. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so I just wanted to circle back on the cheating topic. So Myron, you said that um, physically cheating isn't cheating for men. So what would be considered cheating? Is it like if you're taking this girl out on trips instead of doing that for your main girl? Providing like, what would it be? Resources. There you go. Good question, yeah. When I'm taking care of another girl, right, and not taking care of you to the same level that we originally entered the relationship on, that's me effectively cheating on you. Okay. Because I'm no longer providing you that security, which is my duty to provide you. Men are supposed to provide you security and provisioning in the relationship. You're supposed to provide security by not being a whore. Okay. That's how men, that's how men look at loyalty. That's why he was trying to say that I'm providing and protecting for you. That's what you get from me. I just need you to be pure, which I think honestly is very easy. It's a small yes. right. and, and, and women, here's the thing too, that women don't understand. If you get in a relationship with a man that you love and my respect, you don't want to look at other men. You don't even want to have sex with them. You don't want to even, they're all invisible to you. But guess what? If I get a relationship with you, I could love you with all my heart. I still want to fuck other bitches. So why is it fair that you get what you want in the relationship? Commitment, a man, security, provisioning, etc. But it's not fair for me to go ahead and fuck other bitches and get what I want in the relationship. I busted my ass to become successful and you're telling me I can only smash you? That's ridiculous. Can I respond to that? Sure. Is that okay. Ahead. Okay. So there's a couple of things to say here. I think uh -huh. it's interesting when you talk about statistics of cheating, et cetera, et cetera. Half of the dating market, 50%, are women who are not interested in dating anymore, right? They're single. Sorry. Half of the single market are women who are not interested in dating anymore. Mm -hmm. And those women tend to be older women, actually. Mm -hmm. They tend to be women in their 30s, 40s, 50s. So they don't want to date anymore. They're not interested. It's not because it's like, again, if they were miserable, they'd be looking, but they're not. Um, and that brings me to my There's next point. Break because they and ran it, through. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that brings me to my next point, which okay. is like the reason why I think the red pill is so negative towards men is because they're valuing the value of a man based on how much fucking sex he can get, right? And I think the value of a man should not be reliant on how many women are thirsting over his dick. So let me ask you a I question. I think men have more question. worth point, than let me just you a the question. amount of sex they can have. So a man to get sex, what does he have to be? What do you mean? What does he have to be? For a man to be able to sleep with multiple women, what does he have to be? I mean, that Nick. he has to he be has a high value man. To multiple women, meaning he has to be stable, he has to look good, dress well, be have confidence, be able to lead. All okay, right, what does that have to do with my point from earlier? What did you just say? Because that's what red pill. I said about. that the vast majority of um women who are single are not interested in dating. You said, and then I said the red that red pill talks uh -huh. about a man's success is based on the amount of pussy they fucking get. Well, red pill never well, even no. said that. Well, well, that you never. have to be a, and this has well, been quoted before bonus. here. That's been, I literally no, just explained no. to you no, what you a man said, okay, that get You have to be successful to get pussy. Men built society for pussy. That's why yeah. I have heard multiple times and from the red pill. that's why you're here. Because we build, build, your own, build your own for society. For pussy. Though. That's what you guys say. Okay, sorry. We, so, do, you, do you guys not believe that men can build, that men can study, that men can do all these things for to not fuck women at the no, end of the day? We do but already. because they, you know, are intelligent, because they have their own so, self-worth no. or so, values outside of women? You said, right, the RP is basically for men to glorify getting sex and being having numbers, right? We're just no. saying, as a guy, as a, a man in totality, so we're saying... Man, for, let me take this shit, man. I'm going to dismantle her arguments right now. Show me what you're talking about. Alright, so the first thing you mentioned, women are older and not dating. Okay, well, you can blame feminism for that. You got to understand that as women have gotten older, etc., they make their own money, they reach a higher level of status, etc., and quite frankly, women don't need men. So since they don't need men anymore, they're going to go ahead and deal with the top tier guys. And the problem is, is that a lot of women make more money. And as they go ahead and go up in status and income, their taste for men goes up alongside it. Here's the problem. There's not enough of these men to go around. These men are okay dating down. So what do the guys that actually have the money that are compatible with these women, what do they do? They date 21 year olds. They don't mm -hmm. date the older women. So that's why a lot of these older women are single because they no longer qualify for the very men that they think that they're entitled to because they've priced themselves out of the market. That's number one. Thanks to feminism on that. Number two. Third wave. Men, right? Mm -hmm. As far as like men, you're saying the red pill tells guys that their values derive from having sex with women. High value Incorrect. Men. Their values derive by what they create and a byproduct is that women want to fuck them. I'll say that one more time. For a man to be attractive to get other women, he must have status, money, be in shape, charming, charismatic, etc. Things that take decades to create and be good at. So 
when a man becomes high value, he's effectively dominated some kind of field. He's built social status. He has approval from other people. Women look at him, he's attractive. He has social proof. Now the byproduct is when we want to have sex with him. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. A man cannot be successful and have a lot of women without being successful in life first. So hold on. Can I ask you a clarifying quick, question? Does that, answer, does that answer your question there? I, I, I have one more clarifying question. Can I ask that real quick? So for example, I was, I was going to say as well, so a guy that's getting a lot of girls, right? That's poor, broke, whatever. He's getting bitches, but he's not very successful. That means, for example, he's failed. Getting girls by itself does not make you successful. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Because I have a clarifying question. Then, but I, I think you answered, but I just want to make sure. Yeah. So if you have a man like Albert Einstein or whatever, who is not drowning in pussy, but he has made <laughs> academic achievements that have changed the course of humanity, you would still consider him a high value man. Yes. Yes. Different yes. Levels. <laughs> yes. There's different levels. Okay, too. I'm happy. We found common ground. No, you were wrong. Yeah, right. You well, didn't no. understand what the red pill was. I'm sorry, was. but I ha I have consumed a decent amount of red pill content. And I'm glad you guys don't agree with this, but there's plenty of men who would say no. Like you have to be, if you're not attracting women, if you're not super like buff and like fit and whatever, um, then you might as well be a low value man. So well, here's, here's, here's the thing. Brazil. She doesn't understand, right? You don't understand that to be attractive to women, it's not. One ten. It's one, two, three, four, There's five, a multitude six. of factors. Sure. So the thing is, for a man to be attractive, he has to check a bunch of boxes. But checking those boxes takes a lot of work. So the byproduct is women find you attractive. Okay, that's just how it is. Here's the thing. But you Here's don't the believe thing. the value of a man is ultimately how many women they can get. No, no. Listen, no there listen, has listen, been listen. so no. many men who have said that. But I'm that glad in, that you in guys don't. Here's, yeah, here's, a here's the thing. Your success is being able to attract women, but you must create a dent in the universe first. People respect you. You build up your accolades. You get social proof. Then the byproduct is the women come. Oh, right. Right. I think that's awesome. MJ, I, the, red pill, the, the red pill is about, I mean, you just gave an example of Albert Einstein. This nigga made a fucking bomb. And that's great. But it's like, is he covering all the bases? That's what red pill is trying to exactly. say. You need to cover attraction. You need to cover uh, money. You need to cover fitness. Uh, fitness. Everything. Because cool. why would I just stop at being some fucking what do you have a damn was he a, well he got caught cheating the, on his wife multiple times he was very popular with ladies which so. is great yeah, which Einstein is great though, but obviously it was, aesthetically it was a good example. right but aesthetically you like a guy over six foot like we just good, discussed this right you know what i'm saying what what matters better you think you think he'd be greater if he was over six foot had six pack and and a big dick the or, with, or should he just have a lot of money the thing with smart. albert einstein is that he had status guys like you yeah. know that that what if he had more okay Isaac, he, you did, then. he had we can he use have, like the whole world he wasn't he fit though he wasn't yeah. 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 he wasn't a package. package this is the thing we're, we're trying to create men that are better long term for you guys mm -hmm. but you guys are fighting us in we're every telling, avenue we're telling men to be better at every aspect of life and then we get to choose but the thing is, you're you're saying that with the cheating, and cheating right. hurts. At the end of the day, oh. cheating hurts for everybody. Oh, like, yeah. But it's it's just something you have to accept. It does hurt. All right, let me ask you a question. <laughs> yes, sir. If I tell you it's raining outside and I give you an umbrella, mm -hmm. and you decide to walk out without the umbrella, whose fault is it? My fault because I didn't go without an so umbrella. So what we're effectively telling you is it's raining outside. Here's the umbrella, but you but choose to say no. I, I, I don't want, I'm going to walk out and get wet anyway. Hopefully I won't get wet because I, I'll be able to dodge the raindrops. We're telling you it's raining. Here's the umbrella. Accept it. Okay, so Myron, so you're telling me yeah. that I have to choose a fucking loser so I won't get cheated on and be happy? Yes. Pretty much, yeah. Or you can do what I said. I don't want that. You can do what I said. You'd be good. It's, it's no. basic. Are you You'd be good. Uh, let, me, let me make it simple no, for you. Are you aware of the concept of supply and demand? Yes, sir. Okay. So here's the problem. Beautiful women are abundant. Higher status men are not. So unfortunately for you and every other lady, you guys all want the same fucking guy. That six feet plus, attractive, charismatic, mm. dresses well, smells good, goes to the gym, etc. It's a minority of men. So guess what? Every single girl chasing the same guy. You think he's gonna sit there and have sex with just you when all the other girls are chasing him and you have to bust his ass to get to that point? Okay. So if you want a guy to be loyal to you, get a more average man. Okay. So if I get a high value man, he okay, he cheats or whatever. Is he gonna provide, protect? He's gonna love me. He's gonna. Yes, he's gonna, he's gonna do everything. He's, he's gonna do everything though. Yes. And he's gonna cover all the bases. Yes. Wait. Yeah. Let's be clear. Let's not be loyal. 
Sexually. Exactly. Let's be clear. But emotionally, he's going to be loyal. I got you emotionally. I get like, he's not going to give a fuck about the bitch. But she's going to fuck exactly. a bitch and then he's going to go again. This is I mean, what we're saying. I come back to you. I comes... watch a Disney movie with you after, too. Yeah, <laughs> it, it comes to the girl. Like, the problem is that... <laughs> no like, it comes It comes yeah, to you. That's ugly. It's, it's got to be based on your performance. When you're with one of these guys, you're constantly competing with other women. Yeah, I know. So you got to be at the number one spot. But here's the thing. You give him an attitude. You're annoying one time, blah, blah, blah. You might lose your spot. Yeah, exactly. And women don't like to compete for some odd reason <laughs> y'all like to wear makeup and dress up and compete with other girls but for some odd reason you don't want to be a pick me or you know compete for a man so anyway some, you had some yeah there's two things i have um sure. first of all the vast majority of men and women are dating within their <laughs> income bracket right so it's not like men are just dating 21 year old models like the vast majority of them are dating somebody who's of a similar income similar social class similar upbringing so let's start there um the vast majority of people are not dating like way above their social class and then the second thing, as earlier mentioned, um, society was built out of getting out of our animalistic nature, right? We decided to evolve as humans to start using tools to go from beyond like just brute uh, monkey force, basically. Okay. So when you're saying, oh, no, like this is just in his nature, this is just in his nature, that is a man showing me his weak. That is a man showing me he's not civilized. He cannot go beyond his animalistic nature. Pity. That. That's too smart He's for not that. That's okay, smart. let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because again, I love how you demonize what men want. How about this? Get out of your animalistic nature and date short, broke, and uncompetent men. Or how about this? I, there's some about this? To break up. I, I, no, 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 no. For real. Like, I dated short men, okay. right? Where I dated they at now? Men. What do you mean? Where are they at? I it didn't work because of long distance. Uh, <laughs> see, here's the thing. Wait, you, you want try. me to somehow make a long distance relationship it's, short it's distance? Not that. It's not that. Look, you might be an exception to the rule. You might be willing to date down and date a guy that's way below you socio socioeconomically, physically, blah, blah, blah. But most of the women here on the panel aren't. For you to say, get out of your animalistic needs, that's an assigned concept because women aren't going to change their animalistic not needs. Gonna stop being They're not going to date shorter guys. <laughs> They're not going to date broke guys. They're not going to date losers. They're going to want to date a guy who's superior. So why is it the female standard is never demonized, but the male standard is? Wait, can I ask you a question? Why? Uh, but but what, answer that. No, no, I, I will. But I just need to understand something first. Um, why do you think men want to fuck whatever woman or as many women as possible? We're hardwired for just like you're hardwired but, to but want a man who's better than you. Why, why are you hardwired for it? What are you trying to? It's biology. Bio yeah. Because you want to spread your genes, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, is it just enough for a woman to give birth or does the offspring actually have to survive and thrive? What does that have to do? Yeah, you'll, well, get nature. there where I'm <laughs> asking. Just I'm asking Marin, please. Well, right. Yeah, of course, the, the, optimally, the man wants the child to survive and thrive. Okay, so using your own logic, yep. men should also be looking for women and you believe all this is biological, bi biological, right? There's Most okay. of these arguments are rooted in biology. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So using your own logic, sure. men should lo be looking for biologically women who are just as ambitious, just as smart, similar social class, et cetera, et cetera, <laughs> because otherwise your children are going to come <laughs> off as smart. Okay. Otherwise your children are going to come off as half no. smart as you are, no. right? If you're no. dating somebody who is stupider than you and you believe genes are 50, 50, then that means your child is going to come out dumber than you. Wait, you should no. be looking my for scene, somebody who is just is what's equal important. Smart. Nowhere did I say that men look for a woman's competence when they're important. attracted to a woman. Men, <laughs> see, here's a problem. You keep looking at the world through a female lens. I'm giving you the male lens that you refuse to accept it. Men don't look for these things in a woman. Is she young, attractive, As, not a hoe, it's, fertile, and, it's, and fit? That's what men typically look for. They don't look for Myron, these things that you're looking, they're talking about. Myron, you just agreed with me that men, when they have children, they want their children to thrive and survive. Yes, right? exactly. So if your children are coming out half as smart as you because you're only picking a good looking bitch or whatever, you're not looking for intelligence, competence, or anything else, you're no. lowering their likelihood of survival. It's no, no incorrect. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Incorrect. No. Because you have a better chance of bringing a child to term with a young, attractive, fertile woman over a woman that's 30 years old and competent and smart. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you don't Men think don't that there's look, young, look, look, look. attractive, and competent This is your women? issue. This is your issue. When a man gets with a woman, he looks for replication value. When a woman gets with a man, she's looking for survival value. We look for different things. You're better off 
bringing a child to term with a dumb bitch that's young and fertile over a woman that's 30 years old with and intelligent thighs. and you're trying to claim. But you just agreed with me earlier on that it's not just replication value, it's survival value. So just replicating... The woman looks for the survival no, value. Yeah, you're woman. saying men... The man doesn't care about her survival value. So exactly. you're okay. So how does that even make sense genetically? Makes perfect you're, sense. Wait, how are you going to have <laughs> children who are going to die shortly after or not live that long because they're idiots? Why would they like, die? Why would they die? Like, you're, they're you're, they're, 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 they're from a beast. Yeah, you're, you're still here. Exactly. You're still here. These genes are beastly. What are you talking about? You're talking about genes, My genes are strong. Yeah, your genes are 50-50. So you want to date somebody who's around your level Otherwise, no. the person no, that you're replicating no, with, no. your child Listen, is half new. When a woman has your... wider hips, right, it's easier for them to give birth, right? I'm not so disagreeing with that. It's easier. So when that happens, the child survives. Being smart is relevant. Like back then, people were different back then, but people still live like you. You know, you're 30 years old and, you know, apparently you're still on the panel. But it's one of those things where it's like, <laughs> listen, <laughs> you're surviving right now because your mom has wider hips. Okay. So guys look for, you know, certain, you know, features on women because they know. <laughs> Are you? Hold on, hold wait, on. Wait. This is the issue. Do you think attraction is symmetrical? What do you mean by symmetrical? Do you think men are attracted to women in the same things that women are attracted to in men? No, but I believe that if we're going to talk about offspring, you don't want your offspring to just be born. You want your offspring to survive and thrive for both men and women. Okay, so here's the problem that you're, this is the cardinal issue that you're making here. You think attraction is symmetrical based off what you're saying. The, the woman's competence has nothing to do with the child's ability to survive. This That's is why young, thing. dumb, hot girls get invited to parties with men that have status. The man's competence is important because he has to be in the leader. He has to be in the protector and the provider. This all requires competence. The woman could be a bumbling bimbo and just bring the child to term and a younger, more fertile woman can do that. Right. Yeah, but the point her is, her intelligence younger... has nothing to do. Her intelligence, her personal intelligence, has absolutely nothing to do with that child's intelligence. Yeah. So yep. when you're fucking about... a girl, you're when, so once you're fucking a girl and you have a baby with her, you don't care about how that child's gonna turn out, like how she's gonna raise that kid, like. Well, raising is different. Right? Raising but, is okay, different. Okay, survival but... is the bare fucking minimum. That's you know physical, I mean? though. Yeah. So y'all need to make point. sure. You, you guys are missing the point that this he's making. A man's not going to impregnate, <laughs> purposely impregnate a dumb bitch. That, that's recreational right. use. He's going to choose the woman that becomes a wife that he gives his children to. He's going to choose that woman. Mm -hmm. He's not going to choose a dummy. The dummy that's getting on the yacht and going to the parties. Okay. And no, she's just getting fucked. Wait, but Myron so just said that they don't yeah. care about intelligence. They're okay with fucking a dumb bitch and having her get impregnated, even though it would oh, mean oh, that oh, your oh, child is less thing. smart than oh, that. It, okay. It's a comparison okay. it between to... a smart old woman with all these complications and baggage versus a woman exactly. that's no, capable I, of having I'm kids. Saying, I'm saying that either way, you should care about intelligence, right? Why? I'm saying that You do, but we no, don't. No, no, no. I'm saying that you, if you're a man and you want your child to survive, you want your child to be able They're to thrive, survive. you would still, you're not just to survive. What did you say a second ago? Like three seconds ago, you said you what? What's the magic word you said? I'm not sure. Can you? Cry? You said you should care well, about not just you intelligence. Should, I'm using your own logic. I'm no, saying no, no. under your framework no. of how men no. are supposed to care the about like their children thriving, becoming the top, continuing the gene pool legacy going, you would want smart children. If Here's you want the mistake that, that you made. You use the word should. I don't operate on should or could or would. I operate on what is. Men, typically on a balance of probabilities, don't give a fuck about a woman's intelligence. Okay? They care about a woman's beauty, youth, and fertility. Because I know if I get with a young, hot girl that's fertile, more than likely the kid is going to survive. This is why men look for health factors in a woman. Is she in shape? Does she have a thin waist, nice wide hips, long hair, big ass, uh, big ass et cetera. Men look for, again, replication value. Women look for survival value. So the traits that you're describing is what a woman looks for in a mate that's a male. Wait, if, so We're not the same. We look for a, different things. That's what you look What's at a woman when of... you first view her, though. Like, when I look at a man, I'm looking at his arms. I'm looking exactly. at his Exactly. Survival physical. value. Genes. Yeah. His Survival genes. value. Strong. You're looking at his, his arms. His is height, important. Strength. His money. seat is important. Not confidence. because of like strength. I just think it's hot, but I guess. I but, can uh, see what you're saying. Have, you I can to, see what you you're saying. Do you like big Why? arms? Do you like, you do you like, see what you're saying? Do you like big yeah. arms or small arms? Do you like big arms? Yeah. Do you like big, little hands or big hands? Big hands. Oh, okay. I've never had someone ask me that. Survival value. What's That's the point why. of reproducing if your child isn't going to survive? Well, maternal or be instinct in the isn't the I'm same as having a I'm asking from a genuine perspective of men. If the kid is born, ultimately, he's going to raise in a good family. He has good uh, education. 
all the survival shit is already done with. He's at the hospital. Wait, how, how, how are you sure scene. if that's done? If you're, it's more likely to happen. Who I am? It's you more have more a child with a dumbass with a woman. Yeah, okay, but she, she's a dumbass hoe. She's not going to raise it her child. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The, the seed is what matters. Exactly. The seed determines everything. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You guys are literally contradicting yourself. I'm the father of my kid. My kid is automatically going to survive because he's going to be a beast. Because I will make you a question. You get what I'm saying? I do. You know, is, you know what? You know what? I'm just being so serious. Six or seven like, minutes of conversation has proven to me. Yeah. This genes are supreme. Women literally have the privilege of not knowing, understanding, or more importantly, giving a fuck what men want in women. However, we must understand and know what they're attracted to to be able to get them. We're telling you to your face what men are what like are attracted to and want. Yet you guys are saying, "Should this is the mother of your kid?" Blah blah blah. We don't go ahead and demonize y'all. Why do y'all want niggas that got money and are tall? Y'all know how you things. guys give your standards. We don't give a fuck. We say, yep, it is what it is. We accept it. When we tell you what men want, it shouldn't be that way. You should want a chick that's but, smart so that your kid can thrive and alive and all this other dumb shit. I'm telling you, <laughs> men look for replication value. Women are the ones that look for survival value. I think and I would issue... argue that IQ has nothing to do with maternal instinct. And we'll use the example of animals like cats and stuff. When a, 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 you, a cat doesn't have a high IQ, but when she has a baby, she knows how to be a mother. Like you have maternal mm. instinct. That's biology. Mm. Whether or uh, not you read or you got a high, you're a high IQ. Okay. I'm not necessarily high IQ. I'm probably in the average realm. But... I know how to raise it. I would know how to raise a child. <laughs> like, Thank I'm you. not going to put the child in the microwave. Like, we're getting a little too exaggerated right here on the Yeah, but you're not standards. a mother, so you would never know so, how so, to be a mother. Okay, listen, like, listen. I know sure. there's survival instincts. There's, like, basic, like, change the diaper, blah, blah, blah. But you don't know how to be a mom. Until being I have a, a child. Being a mom is a completely... It's, it's so if, fucking if you complex. Ain't got that Let me ask you nature. a question. Let yes. me ask you, who gives me a better chance of having the child? A uh, 35-year-old woman or a 21-year-old? I don't think you, I don't think you should nut in a 35-year-old, but... How about, that's on you. Which which, no. which wait, 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 wait. Which, one, which one is it's better? Simple. A twenty year old dumbass or a twenty year old smartass? Let's say they're both equally attractive. It doesn't matter. It's a good matter. question. It's no, a good it question. does. It does matter. Yeah, it's a good question. It, to you, not to us. So you're saying because it doesn't matter. It doesn't, you get older. it doesn't matter if they're both the same age, same level of attractiveness. That's the proper question. Who's less annoying? <laughs> there you go. That's how yeah. 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 okay. yeah. yeah. okay. yeah. okay. yeah. yeah. okay. some chats to do it right now. Yeah. Chats, Chris. Hit the, hit the chats yeah. Like, we don't give a fuck about your intelligence. Who's Chris? less annoying? That's what they're going to go with, man. Who has better pussy? <laughs> it all feels the same. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait, all of it? Wait, all no, pussies okay. so, Wait a minute. No, what do you talking about? We got some uh, chats here, guys. Some pussies grip. No. Wyatt says, if Lizzo talking to men, if so, would you swap places with her? With Lizzo? Ew, no. Anybody? I would never. I mean, Lizzo this is like to super men, successful. If but... so, swap places. Well, you're being too. judgmental. That's crazy. I am. Um, <laughs> Francis Limiak says, How many of you like think you will be married pounds. to a six foot man? They all do, bro. Uh, that's the delusion there. <laughs> it says, Question for ladies What is something you wish you understood more about men and something you wish men understood more about women? All right, cool. that's, that's a pretty good one. Yep. Understood. Remember that. Understood. Yeah, understood. not think. No, come on. We, you, okay. we can't we start starting? always for no, me. No, no. no? No, well, I'll start with her first. Okay, how about you? <laughs> you, that's the question right there. Me? Did you, you hear the question? Yeah, so it's for me? Yes, for yeah. you. Yeah, you start, please. Like, all of the girls. <laughs> go, baby, go. I know. I need to think about it. All right, Zena, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Go, Zena. Um, okay. Well, what, is what is something, is something you, you wish, wish you understood more about men and something you wish men understood more about women? Honestly, I don't think I really want to understand men because why? What's the point? I'm a woman. Even understanding a man will never change the life that I'm living. I'm a woman, so no. Okay. Nothing. For you? Um, I wish more men understood that their value is not based on pussy. It's based on being able to pursue like what you love, what you're able to contribute in general to society. And you know, if that means you're like a fucking virgin or you can't fuck to me, like that still should, you're still a valuable man if you're able to contribute to society in other ways. Cap. No, that's, that's cap. not cap. That's what I, I honestly believe. Like, fuck. Like, I feel so sad when I read comments and people are like, oh my God, like, no girl wants to fuck me. Like, I'm worthless. Why don't you like, fuck no, me? you're not. Yeah, you fuck me? Me? <laughs> because he can't fuck. No, because, he I, has because I'm a very. His dick game is trash. No, I'm a very monogamous person. I don't feel comfortable fucking unless if I 
really know that person, like have like love them, have a strong relationship with them. I just I don't sleep so, around with no people. Matter how, but no matter how, how you no matter how you feel, you're gonna show them the wrong. Exactly. You're gonna okay. teach them where to put it. You're gonna teach them how to struggle. No, I'm saying that if I fell in love with that person, then I'd be willing to do shit like that. But if I'm not in love with them, then I'm not comfortable. Then still doing that square one. So why don't so you, you never get with a virgin? Why don't you what get do with you a virgin? If I fell in love with a virgin, I'd fuck them. Yeah, actually, question. So, so you never had a one night stand? I've never had. No, I haven't had a one night stand. That's a cap. <laughs> no, I'm just not. That's, that's not cap. how I'm built. No, that's no, okay, I, I believe her. She didn't have one in the US. She had one in Puerto Rico. All right, moving on. Oh, oh, <laughs> what about you? It's a US territory. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, yeah, you're right. Oh, <laughs> what about you? Um, One thing you want to wish men instead of women, or vice versa? I can't even think right now. Um, I wish I understood, like, kind of piggybacking off her, like, why they want to, like, fuck everything and, like, why they keep replying and replying and replying when they don't get a fucking response. Um, and then mm. I wish what they understood about women is that we're more emotional and, like, we don't get attracted to, like, them sending, like, certain pictures or them, like, just being like, hey, like, let's hook up or something. Like, we definitely want you a more emotional You could have said, like, you could say, yeah. right, and for... What about you? Um, nothing I can think of. So I don't think anything. I okay. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> yeah girl. <laughs> Figured blonde, blonde. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. The only thing that I I, I um I've been thinking about is I I wish men would like instead of like pitting us together like that we would like come together. You know what I mean? That's like, what come that's together. What we're here yeah, for. Like, I wish come we could together. Just... That's what we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, Whoa, yeah, uh, yeah. but like okay. come together like like literally like you know yeah, like yeah, we yeah. understand oh, yeah. like our our bad parts our good parts like let's put it yeah together. body parts yeah yeah body parts yeah oh you sexual no <laughs> <Animals>. like, <laughs> get over it crazy okay what about you i feel like men understand women pretty well i mean they have to understand us enough to even sleep Holy with us no. if that's what they want exactly mm. exactly and vice versa you know your opinion's wrong when the niggas are in uh yeah she wanted life. We can, she she she's life. also not attacking no, you and telling she, you that your opinion exactly. is wrong. Like she's taking. That's how she's I'm taking a quiet. Okay, but before this podcast, didn't they tell us? Let me not say that on camera. To bring it back on topic, though. No, say it. No, say it. Say what I'm gonna say. Go ahead. Say what. What are you gonna say? Say it. No, I can't. No, no, say it. What the hell? Say it right now. Dominican fire. Say everything. Your opinion matters. Say all it to the public. Is it not better for the podcast to be single and not lesbian than to be lesbian or taken? Same I'm just what? asking a question, Myron. Don't look like that. I'm just I asking. I mean, we prefer women that are heterosexual, yes, because yes. lesbian women typically don't give sense, uh, answers that make sense. Are you, are you lesbian? I don't know. So, no, what are you asking? So, I'm confused. She, she's in, referring to her in a slick way. She's not mm -hmm. a lesbian, though. I think she's he understands. I don't, let's move on. You lost. I'm no, 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 no. And I will say this. When women say I'm single by choice, that's the equivalent to a guy that can't get laid that says, yeah, I'm a virgin or an by, by choice. Mm -hmm. Women chase relationships. Men chase sex. I, I, I just want to be single. I, for, my, for my, really? I have been in a relationship since I was from 15 mm -hmm. to 21. Then from 21 to 23. Uh -huh. I am. I just turned 24 a couple of days ago. Yep. I have never in my life have ever been single. So it is single by choice for me. Keep it on for me just for Here's me. the reality. But I don't want to have sex with anybody. I just want to for, for, for just cow. a second. That's I just want to breathe. But but here's here's the thing. Women sit there and say, I want to be single, blah, blah, blah. There's a reason why it's called hot girl summer and not hot girl life. You guys are mm -hmm. okay with being single short term, but you typically want that security from a man that you love, admire, and respect mm -hmm. long term. That's what I'm saying. I also just moved to Miami like two days ago, 48 hours ago. Exactly. So like, welcome. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Fucking the streets are cold. Summer. I mean, yeah. no, <laughs> it's going to be shit. hot when I get on there. No, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So you said, yep. Yeah, okay. What about you? Me? Um, well, I feel like what March. I would want, what I would want men to know about women 
when it comes to after we get married, if you are going to step out on our relationship, please hide it from the kids. Like, don't promote it. Like, okay. don't let our That's children fair. know that. That's fair. all. Of course. That's yeah. how I feel. Definitely. Okay. Very so, fair. Yeah. And for you? Definitely. So now I know how to hands are. So. <laughs> so. I know. I know. Uh, sorry, I'm not nothing English uh, language. It's fine. So yeah, I also need good. to think yeah, about it. Yeah, we noticed. Okay. Uh, the question was. You, so. You got it. From the uh, from the man, uh, I would like uh, they need to understand how I was saying, like I was saying before, um, they need to recognize also when a woman wants to feel beautiful, also for herself uh, and not for other men. And with this, I close. Uh, and uh, women, uh, I would like uh, to understand. And uh, sometimes uh, at this point, uh, I need to understand more and more also. They're only animal at this point because they want to fuck all around. So, well, I mean, and you're only animal because you want us to be taller, stronger, smarter yeah. than you. Yeah, but I don't fuck all around if I'm the, in a relationship. But you're animal for wanting us to be stronger, smarter, being That's able to provide. Animal, then why are you that, considering our nature animal? A woman is an animal. She's <laughs> fucking all the stronger, taller men. That's saying? what would make a woman an animal. And that's over now. Guys are allowed. Guys are allowed to have standards. Guys are allowed to, you know. You said it in your own yeah. words. Yeah. Women are not designed to be promiscuous. They're designed to seek the best man that they can and get provisioning and security from that man. Men are designed to have sex with the most women that are most attractive and fertile for quantity. You want quality. We want quantity. I don't know why women can't get this through their fucking heads. Because we are not the same. We're attracted to different things. It is what it is. This is what I mean when I say women lack empathy. What I mean by this is you guys can sympathize, but you can't empathize because you aren't men and you don't understand what it takes to be a man and to be attractive as a man. My you only know what you're attracted to, and that's the only thing you care about. Men and women are not the same. Yeah. We have to understand you guys to be able to get you guys. As a matter of fact, we have to empathize with you guys to get sex. If I bring a girl to my apartment, I know the place needs to be clean. She needs to feel safe. I need to say certain things to her. I need to escalate nice and slow. I can't just jump down and kiss her in the neck immediately without you know escalating properly. Women, however, you don't know what it takes for a man to be attractive. All the things I have to do behind the scenes that you don't know about to be attractive. Men must empathize with women to be good with women. Women don't have to empathize with men to be good for men. That's the reality. I keep saying this over and over. Okay. We are not the same. Attraction is okay. asymmetrical. We want bitches. You want status. That's how it is. If you don't want to accept that, that's fine. But you cannot sit there and say, oh, what you guys want is animalistic. Well, yeah. you know what? You What you guys want animalistic. You want us to make money, be tall, protect you, all this shit. Okay, okay, Y'all are okay. animalistic too. Okay, let's get I to think the example. women just wait, don't want to get cheated on. Okay, okay, wait, 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 have you heard about well, it? No. Who the fuck are they? Secure the singer. He cheated Secure on her, right? He cheated on oh, her. Yeah. Right, right. Did, did you know what happened in this situation? Like, let's get an example. Tell what us. do you think about? Tell us what happened. So he he cheated on her uh, for like two years uh, mm -hmm. with a younger girl. And uh, at the end, uh, Shakira took uh, the kids uh, and she went away and mm -hmm. uh, left uh, PK with the lover. Now What's she lives a in wonderful Miami. story. Yeah. Can we keep yeah. the chats? Good. Well, how, how do you feel like about this? Smart man. Exactly. Wonderful. He, Why? He's probably was cheating the whole time. You, you said that. <laughs> right. But you said the whole time he needs to keep providing. Because and he needs here's to the thing. She because left him. you're exactly. making the mistake and she thinking left him. that men care about Shakira's status, her money, that she's a Grammy Award winning singer. I'm not singer. saying that. No, but you're saying like as if he was dumb for like cheating on her. Men don't care about a woman's no, status no, or money. No, I'm not saying that. No, I'm not saying that. No, no, no. I, she's I'm saying, saying about the about the action. About she his action. left him. Right. She left him. So therefore, she basically blocked him taking care of her because she chose to leave. You can't yeah. forcibly take care of someone. What is he going to do? Baby. Grab her by the hair and lock her in the house? Shakira, Shakira can take care of herself. She chose to she leave him. I feel bad for the kids. That's not the point that she's trying to make. That's not the point she's trying to make. You want a younger girl, bro. Shakira's all washed up. Like this is what I'm trying to say. Yo. A woman's value Sorry. is direct. That's a nice thing you said. A, a woman's value. Thank you. Thank you. It, it, it was the nicest thing to, you, you said. I really appreciate that. Okay, oh. look. This might not be as nice, but said. a woman's value <laughs> is directly tied to her age most of the time. I'll tell you what. They did, did lie. Ah. Okay. 
You were trying to say something? Yeah, no. I mean, statistically speaking, the idea of like, oh no, most men don't care about, you know, value whatever, or like their social class. That's not true. Like most people, again, marry within their social class because most people don't want to marry down and become more broke. No, men No, that, I'm down, sorry. This is just a statistical up. fact. They look at it. We can Google it right now. Most people marry within their same income bracket. But regardless of but that, that still makes more wait, money. Wait, and, most, the same and most, or and most marriages, there, and most, mm-hmm. but, there's only 14 percent success rate in marriages anyway. That's probably why well, it women are unhappy because, because the majority women... of them divorcing are divorcing for financial reasons. Like she even mm-hmm. just gave her example. Yeah, well, so way, while you're arguing that they are marrying in their range bracket, women are unhappy because of that financial situation and they initiate divorce. Women want well, about 56 percent more income in their well, partners. I, I don't know where you got that number from. It's, but, it's fine. By the way, okay, I never okay, wait, wait, wait. Can I finish my sentence? I'm sure. almost almost done. Sure. Okay. One more thing. Um, the whole idea of like, oh no, women's animal. What would be animalistic for women to do? Which I would agree. Is there take are, birth control wait, and get fucked a lot. Can you let me finish my kids. sentence? Yeah, no, that would be animalistic. their animalistic nature would be like, okay, the second that they bump into a guy who might be more higher earning or higher status or whatever, mm-hmm. to leave the man for that guy. That would be an animalistic nature example of a woman that happens because a lot. she's putting exactly. her libido. Well, time. yet. Men are the ones who are more likely to cheat than women. But she does so it all the you're time. literally well, no, the vast majority of people don't cheat. You're literally talking about no, 15% you're just making of the that up. No, you we can go up. to YouGov <laughs> right now. We can literally go no, open the page. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. Sure. Well, well, the reason for that, that the reason for that is because you're attributing cheating to only sex. Exactly. What, what I'm emotional? saying, or what no, we're I'm, saying, I'm including emotional in these stats. They literally divide it between like emotional, physical, and both. But there's no way to actually measure that because what you got to understand is that cheats emotional. Here's the thing. I, and in my take, and a lot of men feel this way, they won't admit it. If a woman makes herself accessible or open to the opposite gender, in other words, there's a for sale sign on her neck, okay? Mm-hmm. That is considered cheating to a most men. It's just that guys can't be honest about this because they're going to get hit with the your insecure line. Misogyny. I have a question. Yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, God. Please. Wait, hold on. We're going to finish yeah, the chat. Yeah, 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 let's finish yeah, the chat. Yeah, come on, yeah, man. Yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Write it down. God damn. <laughs> All right. I see why it's single. Never mind. Oh! oh! Uh, Tom G changed my life about damn time he's out. Shots FNF for never showing doubt. FYI, the Matrix movie came out 24 years ago today. Coincidence, also watch my girl Michelle Red Pill of these 304s tonight. Oh, shit. Okay. Who's Michelle? That's, that's her boyfriend. Oh, there you go. Hey, he, he, uh, and I can see why she's based. Okay. Wait, Shout out to is my that friend. his, his uh, Lamborghini? <laughs> oh, she so said yeah. yeah. The thing is, she is a successful woman herself. Like and she she's understands a paralegal. That you so laid back. Yeah, 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 but she has a paralegal money, bro. Yeah, it's not paralegal. It definitely isn't. It's not paralegal money. She got his ass. Yeah, she she doing good. All right, Chip Osorio, fifty bucks. Shout out, Mary, from Bahia in Brazil. Just don't divorce my guest. Question for the ladies: To keep your man. You have to know how to cook and also be willing to fix his plate. My wife does this, and I will take a bullet for her on God. Will you ladies cook and feed your man? On Jose on Freud. Okay. Thought. Am, oh, that amateur gaming guy says, like the damn video and go get the audio book. These guys will give you value every day. Give some love back. Myron is losing his hair uh, for your bums. Yeah, facts. So please <laughs> like the fucking get the book, video guys. and get the book. Audio well, deserve less. Debates like this. Should prove why women deserve less, bro. Holy. Okay. Um, John, 100 bucks. Statistics, statistics, statistics. Okay. Appreciate that, my friend. Uh, Fresh man goes, why should a well-rounded man settle with a woman? We covered that. We covered that. Yeah. Uh, Bridiza says, shout out Zena, the server der. The Sneeko Discord, Bronson and Zena have improved the server drastically. Zena is extremely passionate about maintaining a community for RP Truth and her uh, dedication and hard work late nights is appreciated. On on Jose, on Freud, on Jose, big shout out to Bronson and Brielle. Uh, Love is y'all. this Zena's uh, all account? <laughs> no, that's Brielle. She's one of my admins in the Sneeko server. Okay. okay. Oh, cool. Uh, AJA1. Uh, Myron, uh, since they dress for themselves, tell them to name one thing they got dressed up Put on makeup, heels, and didn't go outside and stayed in the house <laughs> one time. Did I mean, any of you ever do that? Why do we have to stay in the I've house? Done to yeah. take yeah. pictures yeah. and make take content pictures. to yeah. y'all post have, online. Y'all have, uh, got dressed up and sat in the house and done nothing? <laughs> I've done cosplays yeah. that I haven't like published or anything because I like like them for myself, but I don't want to share them with everybody or anybody, really. Oh, so y'all have but you're not sharing it. Yeah, they're talking about it. I do every day. That's narcissistic behavior. But anyway. I just hope so I can look better than everybody else, but I guess. Connor Smith, freedom to the taste. The world isn't prepared for round two. Can I get a Don down to Marco? No, I'm not 
<laughs> all right, Nugent Mitchell goes, love the show and the content. You guys are influencing men of all ages in the right direction. Zena, you're amazing and good influence on women. All right, cool. Uh, first is balls. What is a mistake you've made in a relationship in the past you don't want to repeat? Fresh man, uh, fresh man of God, aka Booty Whisper, introduce Shorty next to us to your magic peen for some healing to be cleansed of three or four times yes, 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 sir. Whoever these people yes, are, the they way. doing their thing, though. They oh, say going crazy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You want to you go around the table on that one? That was wild. What was that? He said, he said what's what's a uh, what's a mistake you made in a relationship in the past you don't want to repeat? Okay, yeah, sure. All right, That's ladies, great. it could be dating a broke guy, it could be not being a hoe, I don't know, whatever <laughs> you guys want to say. <laughs> what's a mistake happen. you made in a relationship that you don't want to repeat? On Shoot. your next one. On your next one. Uh, no, I'm standing before to leave my ex-boyfriend because it was cheating on me and it was and it was all the toxic. So not leaving before, mm. I would say. All right, leaving sooner? Leaving earlier? Leaving a millionaire sooner? Okay. Um, <laughs> So basically with my ex, I was like a mother to him instead of a partner. And okay. That's not right. Uh, All right. Yeah. I won't do Dating that. a guy that's not a leader? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about you? Well, in my last relationship, mm -hmm. I was not following his lead. That was a mistake that I made. Okay. I follow my man's lead now, 100%. Okay. Wait, what? I'm just curious. Why did you not want to follow his lead with the last guy? I was young. Mm. I didn't know any better. <laughs> did you buy into the idea of feminism that tells you be strong and independent? You don't need no man? I more than likely did. Yeah. Absolutely. Fair enough. What about you? Mine's just patient and understanding. I didn't realize Stop like how much men go through in life. Like I really didn't. <laughs> I, I didn't yeah. know. Are I you really gonna be understanding didn't. of your ex and get back with him? No, she won't. You already got the money though. You good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's more to to that relationship that I'm like I'm putting out, but but because this is like the internet, I'm not gonna gotcha. expose him. Like, I Wait, still respect you? him out of love. I uh, I'm Dominican. <laughs> Fuck you hitting me for. I'll hit you. He's I'll fucking. Be, he's probably oh, dead. Okay. Right? Oh, that's, funny. <laughs> that's why you lie. <laughs> I'm Caribbean. Maybe I'm Latina. I'm not well, gonna. That's go worse than that. possible. So I mean, it yeah, could be, right. be that bad. So you just it it's, a, it's a little yeah. She he didn't make enough money for her. Yeah. yeah. How, how much was he earning per year? Do you know? I don't know. He was a chef, but like it wasn't enough. Damn. Nigga was trying. He was trying, God and that's damn. why I respect him and I love him. Was it like over fifty k? I don't know. I, I wasn't doing the taxes. I don't know. I mean, you should know. I wasn't. You're married to him. You didn't know how much he was earning. Yeah, you weren't yeah, getting yeah. the benefits. You should know what you're saying. That's how you know. This man try to feed you. I mean, it? typically, if you're in a relationship, First with class like, I don't know. I had a really earn. good dad. So, like, that's what I was I was reaching for. And he know. wasn't, he was like right uh, there, but he wasn't doing it. Is enough. your dad financially successful? Hell yeah. Okay. You can't, you uh, can't yeah. build nice. with him? That's what it you was. You couldn't build with him? Go, Queen. I could have, but I won't. Okay. Women don't go there. Yeah, you a savage, bro. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's fine. Um, I think you? to begin with, just settling, man, never deserved me. But I also put up with a lot of bullshit, and but part of that's on me because I didn't communicate how I was feeling. So why didn't he deserve you? Because he had nothing going for him, drop like nothing. Which I'm not gonna put that on here, but take he my was, word for he was it. A bum? Yeah, no, an actual bum. He but when I job? was with him, he was up there, and then he flopped mm. real hard. What was he doing that he flopped? Drugs. Yeah, drugs. Wait, oh. he was a drug dealer or both? Oh, fantastic! Oh, so you, you know chose, how to pick him. He's he smoking chose, his own supply. I didn't choose him like that. Allegedly. I didn't choose him like that. Oh, so he, cho he chose you allegedly. Yo, before Yo, no he was before bro. it was all that. And I guess too, chat. So. <laughs> so he was a drug dealer. He lost the plug, and then she left him. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Ran off on the plug, man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what about you? Um, I think, think communicating better because I'm not good at it. I'm more like Facts. passive aggressive. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Oh God. Wait, how, Chris, how you know? I mean, she said wear all night, man. Come on. Allegedly. What did you Allegedly. say? That she ain't said I wear all night. <laughs> oh God. All right. <laughs> What about you? What's a mistake you made in a relationship in the past? Um, one of the previous guys. Arguments. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. One of the previous guys I dated. Um, he wouldn't communicate his emotions clearly. He would just like bottle them in and act passive aggressively towards me. So I just feel like in the future relationships, like I want a guy to be straightforward with me so that we can talk and communicate. Really. Yeah, I would argue <laughs> you should have raised. He didn't want to argue <laughs> with you to get the cut himself. Oh God, you I, were screaming at Mara, man. Oh God. Sorry, well, I they said that. what is the mistake you that you made that you don't want to bring into yeah. your next relationship? Well, yeah, I well, I guess in terms of like what I've made before is that instead of having the person sit down and be like, let's talk about this, et cetera, et cetera, I was just waiting for them to bring it up themselves, mm. which didn't work out. 
because they wouldn't bring it up themselves. They would just act passive aggressively. So y'all were like doing the same thing, basically. Mm. Well, no, because I would be like, oh, um, let's talk about it. And then they would get upset. And then I wouldn't bring it up until, you know, forever. Stop but then the they cap. would keep acting passive aggressively. Stop the cap. I mean, you guys don't have to believe me, but like. You should have read his mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm, I'm not a mind reader. That's Why what I got to learn next mind? time. Ah. Zena? I would say um, being argumentative, um, not allowing him to lead. Um not respecting him being available to other men like obviously like through social media and like going to the club partying oh. all of that and just yeah completely uh, being dominant being masculine and leading the relationship right. but it, that it's was justifiable easy. though because i was mm -hmm. dating like a soy boy so agreed okay okay tough fight. my ex is so hyped i write him up what know. is a soy boy a loser. A pussy. <laughs> X um actually never mind. Go ahead. All right, Kyle Bigelow, F and F. I'm 37 and been uh, Mr. Seal 5X. Where are you on punking Sims? What? What, are you what about? do they mean by punking? Uh Bird the Trucker. I hope you guys read this chat. As a man, if you are holding it down, your woman will know her place and she will never challenge you, especially if you treat her with respect. I mean, women will always challenge you, bro. You just gotta be able to put them under in their yeah. place when they do. Right. Girls always will challenge you. Bro. Always. Swiss Chamberlain to Don. Welcome home, Top G uh, from the Don. Tate convinced me to improve my body. I went from a jack boy to what is that? Homemaker. Oh, ho <laughs> no. <laughs> With yeah. no money for kids, <laughs> I learned a game oh, and swag as a teenager, but was broken skinny all my twenties. Thirty-one now, I'm a truck driver and live four times a day. I'm writing a book. As Kari says, Miss Puerto Rico is one of Destiny's concubines. <laughs> Bumble Club. Is that true? <laughs> Mary, he's my friend at most. Okay, that's why. Y'all have never smashed? No. Bumble Club. All right. No. Wait, hold on. Would you? <laughs> no. Why not? Why you got club, because bro? I don't want he's every nice single... I, I oh. argue a lot with Destiny. And I don't want every single argument Why? I have. Like, <laughs> Wait, we're talking about destiny? Like arguing. Yes. Video agrees with bags. No, we, we find things to argue about. And I just don't want every I'm argument. Correct, with him. You'll find things to argue about. <laughs> <laughs> Is he objecting to you? He's messaging me before arguing about stuff. Yeah, He's okay. like, want to come and argue about this? And I'm like, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I don't want every argument I have with him to have like a million people be like, oh, he's going easy on her because they smashed or whatever. So right, that's why those I are wanted. lame ass niggas. I mean, I still don't want it. Is he attractive to you? Um, <laughs> I don't know how to answer, answer that. Please. I don't feel. I feel like you guys are gonna call say cap. Whatever I say, you guys gonna are gonna say, say cap. First. You guys yeah, are yeah. gonna be like, you she's a fucking. No, no, be honest. Be honest. Just um, say. I honestly, from the bottom oh of my, my heart, gosh. consider everybody a fucking seven until proven otherwise. <sighs> no, I told you that's why I didn't want to say it high. because you guys. Seven? Are, yeah, to me, it's very hard. I, I am bad. I'm bad at like noticing <laughs> no, physical attraction. It is very hard. You're bad yeah. at telling the truth. No, I am because like literally, <laughs> a person's personality either raises them above or under. So like, so everyone is fuckable to you then. Exactly. Well, yeah. that's the thing. I wouldn't like fuck most people. Like most people, if you want me to fuck them, they have to be like an eight or nine, which like personality factors come in, but I know you guys are going to believe me, so or I don't death. know why I'm talking about this. All right, so everyone's a seven. That's interesting. Okay. So when you seen a guy, you was like, his personality looks like an eight or a nine. Like, literally, like, how they <laughs> act, it makes me be like, oh my god, like, they're kind of potter now. Like, fuck. Like, oh my, I'm more attracted right. to them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's go. So, uh, yeah. I don't know how they would do it, like, because they if they talk to you, they're going to have to argue at some point, and it's like... Oh god, no, she's know. just saying, like, physically... Yo, you know what? I'd be like, yo, sign language. No, her the physicality she said is already a seven. It yeah, off then, that yeah. it's personality after that. No, I like, you never you never met like a girl that's just like, oh, she's the baddest bitch, but she's like dumb as fuck. Yeah, but you want to fuck. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. Cool. you want to fuck, fuck her. You're not gonna cover though. Why? Why? Why aren't you not gonna cover? Because she's dumb as fuck. I mean, not the baddest bitch, but yeah, but a girl so... actually has to like like you to fuck you. Men don't have to like a girl to fuck her. Yeah, I'm she could turn me off if she like says a lot of dumb shit. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what she's trying to say. And, but like in a different uh, way. And what you bring to I gotta bust a nut first, though. Yeah, yeah. We'll like, think about that first. I'm yeah. like, stop okay. that. Um, John says the, the majority of billionaires are not famous and or on television. Thank you. That's actually true. Good point. Uh, body count over seven. You're a three or four. Okay. If you have a child and kick the man out, it shows you don't care about your child. At seven, I was able to stop my mom from physically disciplining me. At 17, I went to juvenile twice. Luckily, I joined the army and grew up. My siblings and I were terrified to get hit by our dad. <laughs> 
That is a disciplinarian. Lawyer, when are we going to be able to get those F and F hats? They should be live right now, I think. Well, they're saying that on on the site it's not there. Oh shit! I gotta make it live now. My bad. Uh. Dildo Swaggins, on a popular dating site, the most popular age selected for women was 18. The most popular age selected for men was 50. That's because young men and old women don't provide the value for the opposite gender. Older women aren't happy being single. They just can't pull men. I like, you want to say I like men in their, in their 30s. Walk, walk, walk. Definitely like men in their 30s. Why? Because they're more financially stable. I think like the whole little Bam. salt and pepper Seriously? thing is hot. Yeah, why are you so animalistic? Control your urges. Yeah, I can't, Myron. I can't. I can't. Can. 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 Well, if that's the case, then I want to fuck other bitches. I don't want to hear no complaining. Okay, fuck other bitches then. There you go. Shit. Dear Haunter, 50 bucks. Man, these ribs of ours are after the pool. <laughs> wolf, wolf, wolf in the future. Nothing right. else. Women uh, yeah. are part of our ribs. My ribs. Adam and Eve. Yeah. In uh, Bible. Okay, Bible yeah. joke. Yeah. I'm not aware. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Nobunaga. This girl is talking about a child's IQ. IQ is determined by our environment, not genes. Facts. Thomas Sowell wrote a book on black children raised in Germany versus USA. In Germany, all kids, black and white, had the same IQ because there was no negative subculture. Boom. Mm. Okay. Jeez. Nobunaga with the knowledge. Nobunaga. Uh, smart for your own good. Much speaker with the comebacks. Try not talking past points in order to effectively redirect all the intelligence without no understanding. Listen more to these men. Sheesh. I mean, Dania. Bro, gross. With the facts. Don't argue, bro. Yeah. Uh, man, point the asteroid bazooka directly at that Disney <laughs> contrarian next to Xena. He's hopeless. Uh, Myron, it was cooking off on Monday. Xena, if you never talked, you'd be a nine. When you talk, you're about a three. Myron, <laughs> modern day Howard Stern, we're up, boys. I appreciate that, my friend. Uh, Lurker <laughs> says, to the woman that said, are you the mother, then you do not know how to raise a child. The answer is your mom uh, supposed to teach you that when you are growing up. Yeah, and I definitely the, the I know how to raise a child. That. Uh, did any of the ladies have a question real quick? We can take a break from the chats. Somebody was trying to say something, right? We got a little bit more to go. No? Okay. I don't All agree right. with that comment. You can't well, fight what both. Are you I do. I was like, did your mom teach you how to suck dick? Children. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. She fucking did, did it, so get the fuck out of here. Don't go swag. It says, you can't fight biology. If you want to understand men, think opposite. Our brains are physically wired opposite, which means we will never look at the same thing in each other. What you want, we don't want. What you don't want, we want. Got it? Got it. The ladies don't understand that? No. Nope. No. no. Hell, they have the of not understanding. Jesus. All right. Uh, wait, Twizlow. Next? Twizlow. Shout out to FNF. Love the show. We def- was definitely looking forward to a fresh castle last show. You let us down, man. Top G is finally free. Praise God. What do y'all not understand about what we said? I'm confused. Here. Uh, I wasn't listening. <laughs> I, think that's, that's, I don't know. Somebody made some out. comparison saying, oh, did your mom teach you to suck dick? You don't have to suck dick to have a child. Or well, to raise a thanks. child that that's that has absolutely nothing to do with raising a child. In fact, back then, let's go back to the kings and queens. They would watch like the um, the bishops and then would watch after the wedding to make sure you got penetrated. That shit was less than five minutes. You get penetrated. He comes in you. you they check to make sure you are pregnant. Like the maids always check you every day. You get pregnant. You raise your kid. That's it. You don't have to suck dick. That's not how you get pregnant. So your mom's not going to teach you, oh, this is what you do to your man in order for him to impregnate you and then teach you how to raise a child. That's just absolutely asinine and stupid. But like God bless you. Your, God have mercy on your soul. That's like in naked. Okay. That's how you keep a, a man I'm attracted to you. Yeah. No? Yeah. That's but how that, you, that's how you keep a you. Kind of different. The that's woman crazy. of God must be a fallen angel because she on demon time tuning into a regular Miami 304 top free, free top G. <laughs> you know what I mean? You want to say? <laughs> free top G for sure. Oh, well, he's already free, so God bless him. <laughs> All right. Andrew Cardenas. I'm going to give Pixie props for being able to debate way eight people at once. LOL, she uses stats and not her feelings for the most part, so I'll give her credit. Definitely smarter than most women. However, she's still got to take the cell. <laughs> okay. right. uh, don't be a retard. 50 bucks. Appreciate that. <laughs> Lurker says, this is why women deserve less. I always wonder why my parents, they came from Cambodia, set up an arranged marriage for me when I was 20, now 26. I feel sorry for the modern men. Well, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, arranged marriage is, you know, kind of circumventing a lot of the bullshit that comes with uh, modern day dating. Want to shout out FedEx? He changed my life uh, in and taught me, uh, taught me out so much, and I think he means taught me uh, out so much and helped improve my real estate business and my dating life. My question is, y'all, is to y'all, is you recommend kissing girls on the first hookup, knowing these three or four's behavior? <laughs> what do you think, uh, uh, Fit? No, <laughs> did this nigga just say kissing? Wait, y'all don't the- kiss girls. You know, oh, yeah. let sex him sex answer, please. Uh, it really depends on the girl. Example yeah. of, you know, like you, her Instagram is, you know, something like, you know, her. I mean, probably not, you know, but <laughs> uh, it's something you want to do long term. And it's like, 
the more pure You're the better. Her. Yeah, then why not? Yeah, it's no problem. MJ, bro, what did this nigga say? He said <laughs> a girl on the first date, kissing on the first date. Yeah, yeah. it's a little tough. <sighs> on the first hookup, it really do depend. Like, um, depends on the girl. It depends right? on the girl. Yeah. yeah, depends on the attraction. And her her breath definitely can't smell like dick. <laughs> <laughs> definitely can't smell like dick. Cause then we gonna have a problem, you know. But the, the more she looks like a hoe, probably not. Okay. Mm. Fantastic. Wow. <laughs> um, Brett Osika says, um, shout out to Top G ladies. If you're flying into the eye of a hurricane with a 50 percent chance of a crash, would you want a male or female pilot? This is a good question. A good we'll one. start with that one. We'll start here with Miss Italy. If you were on a plane and there was a 50 50 percent chance of the plane crashing, would you prefer a male or a female pilot? Go. Female. Why? Of course. You full of shit. <laughs> I'm a pilot. Uh, in the past two years, I got all my pilot license here in Florida. You're a pilot. Yep. Yeah. In Florida, even so you worse. prefer you prefer a female pilot? Of course. In a storm. In a storm. Yeah. A, a hurricane. hurricane. Okay. Wait. Yeah. All right. What about you? It's male crazy. or female pilot? I would go with a male pilot. Like, I don't mind. The well, why the male pilot? <laughs> I don't think they understand the premise. They don't understand. No, I don't. <laughs> let them, let, it's let life them. or death. So, so it's basically, life or death. Yeah. Yeah. basically yeah. you're putting your life in their hands. A man or woman? A man, yeah. 50% chance of it crashing. You're about to go into like, the eye of a hurricane. 150 miles an hour wind. You could, die, wind. If yeah. you could yeah. die. Like, you're, you're done. Men are more likely to be a pilot anyways. So, okay. Yeah. What about you? I'm going to choose a man. Why? They're going to think more logically in a situation like that. Mm. Mm. Okay. The facts. What about you? Male or female? I agree, I agree with what she just said. It's a man. Wow. You with didn't agree logic? with me earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have to agree with you every single point of your like. Oh, your why are you so, why are you so aggressive? Pull your mic down. I why think I'm just so... Dominican. I, I don't think I'm like <laughs> trying to. I think and I'm just Colombian. Like, you're so what excuses are you doing? You're just a masculine woman. It's fine. Maybe. I mean, these five seconds that you met me, sure. Why a man? I just think they'll know what to do better than a woman. But That's... also, I don't really mind, like, if you can fly a plane better than a man. A female, I don't think a male is always going to be better than a female when flying a plane. But I do prefer a man in that situation. Can I? Hold on. Why, why so? I just think they would have better sense of thinking off the bat. They'll know what to do. Okay. That's okay. an MJ. I'm not. I'm not sure how that go. You say you got a pilot license. So yeah. if you're flying through 150 miles an hour wind, is it harder to control the steering wheel? Like, do you have to be really strong to hold it together? So, like, does that does that matter? Uh, Are y'all thinking about that? Or, uh, or no? yeah. <laughs> for, wait, I'm gonna explain you one thing. First of all, if you're flying that condition, it's it's because most of the time, so 99 percent of the time, it's because you have the airplane made to do that. We have uh, there's existing airplanes, especially the United States uh, is full of that. Airplane, they're flying through hurricanes and everything. So yes or no? Okay, but we on a regular American uh, Airlines here. So <laughs> no, in a regular American Airlines, no, you're not putting pressure on it. Like uh, there's an autopilot, there's a lot of helps. No, through, you're not using your force for it. This through all that wind, autopilot. it doesn't affect that. Mm, Are you serious? Not really. No, no, you're not putting uh, all your force on it. My roommate is actually a pilot. She is a female too, but she's a pilot. So I'm just going to tell you, you're a hundred percent wrong. You're not going to put, if we're flying, my my love, may I finish talking, my love, my love, okay. So if we're flying through a hurricane, you're, I don't know if they have hurricanes in Italy, but here in Florida, we do have hurricanes. Mm -hmm. Do you know that hurricanes destroyed Haiti? Yeah. Okay. You're not flying an American airline on autopilot through a hurricane, my love. If you are my pilot, it's over with. I'm praying to God. You have to grab it. Okay, but you need to grab it. When you ever eat, look at, let's use movies, for example, because I don't think any of us have been in that situation. What do they do in the movies? They turn off autopilot and they got the man grabbing that shit. It's it's, it's not really like this. It's not really like this. Going through a hurricane, my love. You've never flown through a hurricane, so you can't use an example right here. Okay, wait, wait. Wait. Have you I, ever been in a hurricane? In a wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, in the airplane, wait. but yeah, I've been through in a hurricane. And I'm saying, and I'm saying also the things we see, we see on the film, it's not really like this. If you're talking about a female can handle that, it's absolutely in fault. A female can handle that. Okay. Are you flying like Cessnas or commercial airlines or what, what, your license, what kind of pilot license do you have? Multi commercial engine. So you can fly a 747? When I get my type rating, yes. Okay. Interesting. Okay. What about you? Who would you prefer, male or female pilot? You're going into the eye of a hurricane. A male. Why? Because I think he'd be more logical. Because I think he'd make a more logical choice, like okay. when to land and when not to, or what to do exactly. Copycat. 
Yeah. <laughs> what about you? So, to my understanding, and I'm sorry to be the statistic Bruh. again, but no, um, the highest rates of like survival or being able to like properly maneuver like a vehicle, such as an airplane, is largely determined by height. I don't know why the exact details of that are. I just know it is. So I would pick whoever's shorter, whether it be male or female, because the chances of them to be able to like maneuver that airplane in like tougher circumstances for some reason is correlated to height. Did you pull your phone out and Google this shit? Or you <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I literally, no, no, I literally have like it's in the flight. Books. I have three majors. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. I remember I'm saying information. Sure. Correlation is a causation. So, you're saying yeah. that you would go with the shorter person? Yeah. Like, I that's what since that seems to be like one of the big not skill, not physical strength, not logically. Well, sound, if I if like... I knew if I know if I knew each person's skill sets, then that would be make more sense. Let's but say the both parties just... are the same exact height. Who are you going with? Who am I going with? If we're going to compare apples point. to apples. I flip Come a coin. on, just pick one. No, five. I flip a coin because I reject the Life idea. Of death. I I would flip she a coin. So you're taking coins. She's taking gender out her, 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 her job is so to make a That's why. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you have to pick one. Just but female or no? Ill. Listen, I'm not trying to be contrarian. There's okay. clear places it's where okay. I would pick a male over a female. Absolutely. For like, example, um, if I had to, we have one question for you. Just answer it. God damn. She answered it. I'm sorry. I was just trying to. I was trying to clarify that. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> so obviously I would pick a man. Um, I My roommate actually is in flight school. And from the stories that she tells me, because like we sit around the table, she's always telling me it's hard. Like it is hard to maneuver planes. They are heavy and stuff like that, autopilot or not. So I'm going to go with a man because if we're going through the eye of a hurricane, there's going to be hella turbulence and just a lot of shit going on. I, I think a woman would freak out. I know I would be freaking out, but I think a man would be I think he'd just be more mentally inclined to handle that situation as well as strength if he need. And That's what I'm saying. let's say if we do crash, the, the man is going to be the one pulling people out of the rack. The women is not going to be able to be lifting people up under the wreckage. So I'm going to go with the man. That's true. But I'm going to say one thing. So you clarify your friend that isn't actually in the flight school. She She's in it. Oh, she okay. has one license. The, I don't know what. Uh, uh, what okay, it is so for. probably she's gonna have only one, only the private license. So flying. I didn't say private license. I said she has a license, my love. Uh, okay, sorry. Yeah. I don't know what though, because I'm not a pilot. Uh, so. Okay, okay, okay. But uh, whatever it is, uh, she's probably flying Cessna. If she's doing her actual flight training, she's flying Cessna. I can tell you right now, the Cessna are fucking high. Like stronger okay. airplanes. I like don't know what I, I struggle flying. flying Cessna because they're all manual. Like you need to land and you need to hold the everything. So yeah, I was so tired in that. But I made it. So strength matters then. Right? Exactly. It, during so the training, during, that during that the training, yes. During the training, so you're choosing I would a man yes. or a woman? A woman, because I'm a woman. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, and I'm a pilot. So, so it did. makes sense. It <laughs> makes sense. It makes sense. Or I will answer. Or whatever is that is there, it's fine. Because when you reach the point, you have skills to do it. Well, with that logic, so with, with that logic, because you're a pilot and you're a woman, you're siding with choosing women. Um, well. I do Jeet Kune Do and I'm, and I'm actually a little bit trained with that. But if someone breaks in the house, you think because I'm a woman and I know that I can handle myself that I'm going to fight the man. I'm going to make the man do it. OK, I'm agree with that. I'm agree with that. OK, you ain't even got to make on. him. He's going to do it just because well, exactly. he, wanna, he, and I'm gonna he, he wants to. I would rather because him, he wants but... to. Interesting. OK, very, very interesting. Uh, OK, interesting indeed. Yes. Uh, where are we at here, Chris? <laughs> yep. Chris is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Uh, to the Christian or woman of the book, the father allows men to have multiple wives. Exodus twenty one ten. Yes. You have anything you want to say to that? No, that's that. Keep reading the Bible, baby. To be fair, that is the Old Testament, so I'm not going to harp on that. But yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, fresh is taint. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> fuck? Fresh, fresh. What is your favorite body part and why? Nigga, what the mm. fuck? Yeah, fresh. Ass, what does that dude. matter? Fresh. Ass. Say it. Yes, sir. Come on, fresh. Oh, you like ass? Oh, no, 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 no. Fresh. 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 I got this. Her personality. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. And ass. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. Ron, P. Haymar, and hate man. to change the flow, but how buck do you think the take compound is? <laughs> Y'all are funny. <laughs> uh, uh, girl over there taking notes just to retort. She's not trying to understand the male point of view, thus proving <laughs> Mayan's point about empathy. Very true. I bet her notes are filled with things she plans to say and not anything she learned. <laughs> 2011. 2011. Yeah, she's here to just be a contrarian. Uh, long live gaming. Imagine giving women a voice, and this is what they choose to say. SMH, abolish the 19. <laughs> Down the Marco, 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 Marco. Sup, guys, Xena, ladies. Do you agree that social media has screwed your perception of what man you can attain? If no, 
uh, what would you do differently if social media never existed like the heyday? All right. Do you think social media has hurt women's ability to find a man or yeah, it screwed their perception? We start here with Miss Italy. Uh, screwed their perception. Absolutely agree with that. In what way? Why, why do you think they screwed them? Uh, all their relationship is so romanticized on Instagram. Also, every every woman is looking so good on Instagram, and uh, we're looking at something that's totally fake. Mm. Who do you so, think Instagram hurt more, men or women? Men. Mm. Interesting. Let's we'll see. Realistically speaking, yeah. who do you think, if you had to pick one gender, which gender do you think has been more negatively impacted by social media? I would say woman. Why? I would say woman. Uh, not for the for the topics we 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 spoke about, but for competing with other girls. Unfortunately, is is in our nature, and I admit that. And uh, competing with other girls, who's the skinniest one? Who's the most beautiful skinny. one? Who want a skinny bitch? Uh, I know, I know, but it's crazy. Exactly. It, a lot it, of it, people, it, a lot of people, babe. right? But it's crazy. We we always try to look as skinny as possible. Also, it's not even more attractive. But why men. are you trying to be more attractive? For what reason? Mm. Also, like it, it's a competition. It's a competition, competition we do. for what? For who? For woman to woman. <laughs> woman to woman. Like, for who? Uh, like it's you know, it's our nature. Like I admitted that. Like it's our nature to competing, and sometimes it's not. No, sometimes most of the time it's all toxic. So it's to compete with women. That's it. Y yeah. For yeah. But what are you competing for? What's the trophy in this case? Like, mm. like the trophy in this case. Who has the better picture? Like, uh, who has oh, the better body? God on the game like i don't know if you understand so, what i'm saying no no no. i understand very well but it just it, that that answer told me everything e, e, i need to know yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> you want to uh you you want to land uh, in the place oh it's because of the man it's because we want to attract the man right yeah. you want to land there that's why it is I, you didn't want to say you don't want to admit that but that's no, what no, it is no, that's no, the highest no, level no 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 I, do, I like i don't have a problem to admit that most of the time when i've been, you just did have a problem with it <laughs> so say it right now just say no, right it's not that oh, okay. my problem. It's not that my problem. So you can say it right now. Just, yeah, just, just say it. No. Let's keep going. No, no you can't. No, no, no I'm go. not needing something. It's not true. There you go. No, say it's it. not true, or you just, you just said it was true. No, say it. No, I'm say saying it. we are competing each other, which is not healthy. For men. No, I didn't say that. I never say that. I said. Oh, no, I know you didn't say it. I'm no, saying you I said, said that that's now. what he wanted to hear from me. Say it with your chest. It's yeah, different. But you agree. It's different. I'm not. 50-50, some case can be like this, some case no. I can say that. So what does it mean if you do have the better body? Like what what is the what is the end goal? That's why they're asking, what is the trophy? What is the prize? You and me are competing right now. Who has the better body? I mean, I don't have to answer that, but what are we who what is the end goal? Like it's uh, for men. Okay. Because what does me having a better body and face than you do? What does that do for me? It attracts a man for me that will most likely choose me over you. I'm agree. I, I'm agree with that idea because it can be possible. It can be absolutely possible, and it happens. Okay, for me personally, I will say it's more looking better in the mirror. Okay, baby, we're talking about generalizations. And you love attention that much? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Oh God. Remember, she I did answer, say that she dresses answer, up and stays in the house. <laughs> I answer a, a, a question with my opinion. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. perfect. It's Jeez. wonderful. Go, answers. Queen. Okay. Right. What about you? Goddamn. Uh, go <laughs> pull up that question again. Uh, it was, um, do you agree that social media screwed your perception of what man you can attain? And if no, what would you do differently? Social media never existed like the heyday. Yes, because, um, with social media, like you guys say that Instagram is a dating app. You can contact anybody you want, any guy you want. And, um, if I did not have Instagram or anything like that, I would just rely on, um, family and friend connections and things like that. So, okay. Yeah. What about you? Do you think Instagram screwed women's perception? It absolutely has. Damn. Mm -hmm. Why? Because most women think that just by posting a cute picture and being pretty on Instagram, think like that's just what they think that it takes to attract a man. It takes a lot more to attract and retain that man than just being pretty. You have to do a lot more behind the scenes than just simply posting a picture. What do you be doing? What yeah. would I be doing? Mm -hmm. What do you do? What do I do yeah. as a profession? I'm, no, no, no. no, no to what do you do? Man. Yeah. She wants some tips yeah, how to keep yeah, a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me know, girl. Let me know. You got a Lambo and everything, right? Well, 
She wasn't You're man. Hispanic, so you should know this. You cook for your man. You oh, serve shit. your man. Oh, okay, whoa. you cook, you clean, you suck his dick. What do you do after? Like, what's what's be what's quiet. like? What's your <laughs> I take care of the house. Like what do you do? I, I, I don't. Tell me, tell me your secrets, babe. Just I literally, I don't <laughs> challenge him just, exactly. Just, I just, don't just, argue with him. Mm-hmm. Extremely feminine. Mm-hmm. I follow Not his lead. Wait, wait, let her answer. I follow his lead. Like, what else? There's really yeah. no secret. They literally tell it yeah. on different yeah. podcasts all the time. No, perspective. No, no. I'm not arguing what? with you. I'm okay. not attacking you. I'm just asking you from a genuine place. You're cutting her off. Like, stop cutting her off. She's telling you what the fuck's going on, all right? And I'm answering. No, you're not. I'm, I'm, you're I'm answering. Listening. You're answering when she's still talking. Okay, I understand. This is why she ha- she's with the man with the Lambo. Okay, and, and I understand. Divorced. I understand, Aaron. No, you don't understand. Shit. I do. I no, do. Don't. But I still want to. I still wanted to like just talk to her. I know. Like, I right, I'm telling you right now, Chris. Chris. All right, go ahead, Mark. All right, cool. Um, do you want to finish anything else you want to add to it? I think I've said enough. Okay, I think Thank to summarize you. what she said was, um, be submissive. Mm-hmm. You know, cook, clean for him, provide for him. Don't give him a headache. Follow his lead. Be coachable. Yeah, be coachable. She got it. God damn. Fair enough. She got a lot for you. Does that does that suffice for your question? Yeah, I absolutely agree with her. That that's how you keep a man. Okay. All right. Yeah. Instagram. Yes. What's do you up? think do you think Instagram has screwed uh, women's perception on what man they can attain? Uh, absolutely. I think um my at least my social media like the guys that come to me it definitely changed my whole perspective like getting out of a marriage and very high status guys yeah getting out of a marriage and looking at my dms and looking at my requests i'm like oh wow i could get this like blah 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 type of guy uh-huh. you know but you got options blue check mark no yeah but can you keep them though you that's what I, that's what i no, that's what can. i was thinking i was like i Not don't know even if i entertain him can i keep him can i can i make him faithful i i, I don't know so nope. it does, it does take it. It does change my perspective on life and like men. Would you say that Instagram, uh, kind of? I don't want to say led to your divorce. I'm not going to say that, but did it kind of open a door for you to say, you know what, maybe I could do better? Yeah, it, it absolutely did? did. I think I think mm. women would probably be in healthier relationships in and men. Like if we just didn't have Instagram mm. and social media and stuff like that, I think our. Re- relationship and our marriage like race would be way higher if, if instagram didn't exist do you think you'd still be with your man yes. right now damn so when wow. i asked you to, to to make your page private you had a problem with that i never <laughs> i never when my when i had a relationship my love i didn't have twitter i didn't have instagram i didn't have any of that the thing is you you so wait, your how pers- did it influence your, your divorce then if you didn't have it it didn't influence it it influenced it after I, I think after the like once because I got divorced in the pandemic, right? Uh-huh. So like after the pandemic, I'm looking through my Instagram, oh, I'm looking through my stuff. Like after the divorce, like while filing, and I'm like, oh, I could do better. I could do better. Oh, it made you solidify your decision. Yes. Okay. Didn't you post a picture when you were 16? You were yeah, yeah, yeah. She did. Oh shit. She did. How yeah. You? I mean, when do you post your first Instagram picture? What are you talking about? You no, say you didn't have. I didn't have. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have. Yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. Yeah. 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 That was the other last thing. Oh, I archived it and then I re. I got married at 18. I was in a relationship when I was 16. So, is that does that answer so you your question? Or, was it, while you were in a or before? Immediately. I, why do you post, have an Instagram at 16? I don't understand what you're saying. Like, if I if I'm a model, right, and I like taking pictures and stuff like that, like why wouldn't I post? pictures like you what's just, the, what's the actual said, question I'm, I'm going up with what you said you said yeah. you didn't have instagram while you were married yeah when i was married i was in a relationship when i was 16 you can't get married in georgia when you're 16 so you were posting that kind of stuff while you were still dating at, 16. at 16 well, can you pull up my instagram please the one with the you're grinding on the girl right now bro she bent over hell no bro pull it up no more i 100 believe that instagram has shade for perspectives um for me, like a lot of for a lot of women, I don't want to say for me that sounds too cocky, but it does just take a DM, and like with people you don't even believe that you could, like pull, I guess. So mm. I don't know. Not I'm not trying to seem like it made me more cocky, but it did give me a realization that I don't need to settle for someone. You go clean. Mm. <laughs> you got this. Has Thank it hurt you. your ability to find meaningful relationships with guys that might be a good suitor? Oh yeah, for sure. 
does it make you think I can do better all the time? Uh, I do kind of always think there is someone better than the person I'm with. So always. Well, not if I'm with them, but I do think there's always better. All right. Fair enough. What about you? Um, yeah, I think Instagram has definitely affected it. Um, has it fucked up your perception? No, because I don't really respond to DMs. Most of my, like the people that I have talked to have been people that have came up to me in person. Like if I'm eating or if I'm at the gym and they'll come up to me and be like, Hey, I want to talk to you. I'll respond more to them versus but you're like an if somebody though, throws... right? Yeah, but don't you prefer to get with guys that are also influencers? No. For what? You don't? No. You get regular guys? Mm-hmm. The guy mm-hmm. that you had before, regular guy? Yeah. But y'all aren't together. No, I left him though. That's my point. <laughs> it wasn't because he wasn't an influencer though. No, but did you did the fact that you're an influencer and you're around higher status men, right? Because of by virtue of your profession, did that kind of make you say, you know what, I can give you the ammunition to kind of say I'm gonna leave this guy? Yes, it did. She hung no. out with McLean. She hung out with influencers. That doesn't mean anything. That's that wasn't because that he's talking but about. that wasn't because I left the guy. That wasn't the reason though. It doesn't have to be the direct reason, but what I'm saying is that the fact that you had these other options didn't make it easier for you, kind of similar to her. She had already initiated the divorce, but she was able to stay 10 toes down during the divorce because she was like, oh, I could do better. No, we had a conversation. We both agreed that we were fit for each other at this time right now. Why did you leave him then? Because we weren't fit for each other right now. Why did he not fit for you? Because I, I don't have enough time for him because I do travel often. I don't have enough time for him. Travel to do what? stuff like this yeah all right what about you um which question specifically sorry uh the question is do you think social media uh negatively impacted women's perception um yeah i think um i think it's impacted men and women incredibly in fact the earlier question I who's think, it hurt more men or women i feel like um i feel like it hurts men more honestly really? okay. yeah because i feel like merch huh? jesus merch go ahead I feel I feel like there's like so many ideas of like what it means to be a successful guy is to have like the most expensive watch or the Lamborghini or all that stuff. And I, I honestly feel like there's a lot more to life than just like, you know, the most expensive thing ever. And I feel like um a lot of guys feel pressured to just like make a lot of money, but then not focus on like intellectual pursuits or not focus on all these other aspects of life. So then I feel like really bad for men because it's like, oh, I just don't have enough money. I need like I need more money to attract women. Let me ask you a question. Who do you think gets more attention on Instagram, an average man or an average woman? I think um, the average woman. And that's also negative. Okay. I think social media in general is really bad. So if the average woman gets more attention than the average man and that changes her perception of the opposite gender, wouldn't it be fair to say that since more average women experience more attention, they're the ones that are actually being affected by social media, whereas most average guys get zero attention on social media? Well, you're asking me negative effects. So there is multiple ways that the different genders can be affected. So, for example, women might get like unrealistic standards of uh, the perfect relationship or their body or whatever. Yep. And men can, can also get unrealistic standards of what the perfect relationship is or what they need to have to be a good person. So I feel like yeah, everywhere around, it's just Who bad. Who's affected more? I mean, I think I already answered that. I think men are affected more. But he just debunked that. I just debunked that. Because because no, that... they're affected. Oh, let me clarify. Let me clarify. Okay. <laughs> men are affected more in the sense that they see these people who are constantly touting like these things of success which are all like superficial in my opinion and then they neglect themselves and focus on the superficial because they think that might attract pussy right now women are more negatively affected in the sense of attention that they get like more attention and that can like cloud their idea of what a good relationship should be focused on so they're both like there's these are different metrics to decide that's what i'm trying to say but there are ways that women are worse affected and there are ways that men are more affected Okay, but the question is, who, but what's a metric? Who, who does social media negatively impact more when it comes to relationships and dating, men or women? Like if you had I, to pick, if you had to pick one of the lesser of the, you know, which evil is greater of the two? Okay, I, I think we're just gonna have to agree to disagree. But you're saying there's no agree to disagree. Okay. I'm asking you a question. Okay, let me clarify. Let me make sure that we're on the same page. When you say oh, relation, God. okay, well. <laughs> Do you want me it's a to very ask? simple, straightforward question. Well, no, question. it's not because I it think is. I think men are doing a d- bigger disservice to relationship to themselves. 
Like men are fucking themselves over. How do, do they have a choice in that? Do they have a, no? That's a very that's another very good question. I think these social media that's companies. That's not a question. That's a statement. Okay, I think these social media companies are literally fucking evil, right? They want you to be addicted. They want you to stay on. They want you to be hooked, right? True. True. So I don't think it's necessarily like a free will choice of men. I think like these apps are fucking designed to keep you in the system. So if girls think, hey, you know, I can get better out here and all these guys are in my DM and I can have this and I can have that. How does that affect like how how is a guy supposed to be affected by it? Does he just sit there and, and adapt to that or does he have to be like, you know what, I'm going to make like it, it has nothing to do with <laughs> I think what they the should f- think fuck these bitches. <laughs> like, how can he think fuck nice. these bitches if he doesn't get money and status? And well, that's the thing. I think there are, and I think for this is for Beth, both men and women. I think that there is a life and more important values outside of whether you're fucking someone or not. Hey, you got to answer this damn question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna. Let's move on. I'm just gonna go. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna I, yeah. So when you look at it in, at us at the surface at the surface point of it, I would. St- I would say men only because women are busy, you know, with their hot girl summers. But if you think about it in the longevity of it, women mm. are hurt more because while they get over that and as we get older, we realize, OK, we wasted all our time doing this, partying, hanging out with friends, whatever, whatever, and being recreational use instead of finding that one man and being with him. So by the time you're mm. older now, because of this social media and the options we have when we're young and all these people inviting us to yachts and little pump in your DMs and this, that, that and the third, you're not focused on finding yourself a husband or a man. You're focused on, oh, my God, I'm living life. Mm. So when you get older you start regretting those decisions so i would say it really affects the women the most like it, it hurts the women the most you said little pump were you chasing him huh you said little pump little but, pumps in everybody's dms i'm saying like but, it was an example because i just watched something but about were you chasing him uh a long time ago i did yeah i did okay wow all right okay but so so you're proving my point right we're agreeing because of that, I when you're on social media and you get people like that in your in your DMs, Dominic Fike, Lil Pump, you got these high status men, blue checks, actual people hitting you up. You're you're thinking you're this it bitch, so you behave that way. You think you can always find a better option, and then by the time you're my age and you don't respect none of these men, and you they weren't the better option, and you were recreational use, and now you're looking at someone you can't mm-hmm. necessarily be with mm-hmm. because of your past. Like that, that I think that's really important. Gee. All right, I'm going to say something that might be offensive to some of the ladies at the table, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> I asked you, who has, who's rare? You or the man, right? When you said that you were with a successful multimillionaire or whatever, and then you actually said you are rare, which is hilarious. But that comes because, and I don't mean to use you as an example, but the reality is most women have an overinflated sense of self-worth, and that comes from social media. Mm-hmm. Average women think that they are above average in reality because above average men hit them up, and they think, this is the man I qualify for. No. You, that's the man that you qualify to potentially have sex with, but not necessarily a relationship. I think average women, right, think that they're above what they really are. Women chronically overvalue themselves while men simultaneously undervalue themselves. That's what I personally think. And I mean, social media, this is why girls fight tooth and nail to keep their profile private, to put sexy pictures of themselves, because women understand that if my social media profile is open and available, a higher status guy can always hit me up. And women always want to be able to reserve the right to replace you with a better man. I don't know if y'all agree, disagree, but I mean, a lot of your own answers answered what I said. An average man has no chance on Instagram. An average woman has all the yeah. chances on Instagram. A man I'm, has to be exceptional to get a chance. I'm a total agree with you. What mm-hmm. you say, I'm totally agree with you this time, uh, because uh, if if now I need to explain you why I answered like this before, sure. it's because uh, it's more my opinion and is an emotional thing of me that you as a man will never understand. And I'm okay with that. I mean, it's very, okay. but what I said is factual. He actually is rarer than you are, though. Right. And I said, no, I think uh, uh, I think I am the rarest one. And you're not agree with that. You're seen from a point of view, which I'm agree, th- your point of view. But like, I feel the rarest one. That's the problem. You feel versus I see what's real. Statistically speaking, he is rarer than you. There's another woman that's 25 years old, probably just as attractive as you, if not more. I mean, maybe you have a pilot license, but unfortunately, men don't care about your pilot yeah. license. Oh, okay. Do you want his number? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just telling you that. Are you sure? The guy. Can I give you to you? Please the guy, be respectful. Please respect the like, staff What I'm here. trying to say was, is that. He was just making a joke. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, what I'm saying is that the man is higher value than yourself, but you thought that you were higher value than him. And that literally proves my point that women have an overinflated sense of self-worth where they think I'm with a millionaire and I'm rarer than him. I'm trying to say, statistically speaking, 
he's superior to you in every way, which is why he's rarer. Yeah, how you feel? Okay. Doesn't he's all, he's automatically one percent. Right. He's automatically one okay. percent. Well, do you not think that anyone else can make her happier than the previous guy? That's not my argument. No, 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 well, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, no, 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 wait. He's right. He's right. She he's should right. make That's not happy. his argument. No, my my okay. argument is simply that uh, all I asked is, who do you think is rarer, you or him? And then she went off of her feelings. I feel like I'm rare because I'm X, Y, Z. And then I went and had to make it factually based. Actually, he's rare because he's a millionaire, he's successful, etc. The things that make him attractive to a woman are, are rarer. Wait. Her, on the other hand, her youth, her beauty, etc. There's plenty of women that fit her mold. Okay, okay. Maybe I explained myself uh, wrong. Facts. So I will say you, yes, I agree with you. As I said before, but... Like uh, the answer I gave before is because I'm thinking emotionally and about my opinion. Now you get it? That's fine. Mm. But mm. your opinion can be incorrect. And I'm talking about factually, he is rarer than you are. An opinion. I she's agreeing with you now. She's, she, she's agreeing with you now. She's no, saying, I know. But yeah. I'm saying before it was an opinion, but it was incorrect. Yeah. Because it was based on how she feels. And this yeah. is different between men and women. I deductively solved solve the problem that the guy is rarer than her. I'm Just, giving it the right. I'm giving it the right. So, I, so I'm giving the right, but but before I answer, it, thinking about uh, me as a person, me, my mind, and everything, my opinion, guy. So I, think I get that, but your opinion was incorrect. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Listen, I, listen, I just listen. Give you the right. Listen, no, you guys need to stop <laughs> thinking about the the, the the fantasies y'all have is not reality. So y'all have to live in reality. Like, That's why I also say Instagram <laughs> is a problem. Also because we are all romanticizing uh, all the. Like let's let's be real. As he said, as he said, there's no many millionaires out there. Out there. Mm -hmm. There's no many men can provide you uh, all the all the house paid, the, the all bills paid. There's no lots of men like that. They're yeah, rare. Right. I'm agree with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the social media are influencing us uh, to look more good and everything. And I agree with that. But the things uh, is uh, I'm more pro to think about. Uh, at this point, uh, it's better look good uh, and uh, and work uh, better and have uh, and work in a better field, <laughs> study more than reaching for that man because like, it's it's so, right. So what it's do you rare. think? What do you think will make you happy better. long term? This, My work. You think so? Yeah. When you forty, no kids with cats. Absolutely. <laughs> What? Not everybody likes no, we cats, cats. Guys. dogs. Okay. Oh, you, dogs. You, think, you think you think not fulfilling your maternal needs to nurture a home is going to make okay. you. So, less happy. So also this, uh, I need to answer it to you with my emotion. I've been, I've been, because I've been in that kind of relationship and I was so sad. I wasn't able to keep up with that relationship. Okay. And uh, I'm going to be honest, hundred percent. I thought about for like almost a year to stay there and say what I want more. I have everything. What mm -hmm. I need more. Okay. And also, he was the type of guy of, uh, if I was posting a naked picture on my Instagram, he wasn't going to tell anything about you. I was free with him. So I was having like 100% of the things. Okay. Unless the, uh, the loyalty. Oh, but yeah, he was the type of guy who was saying, you want to go hang out with your friends or something? Get drunk? Go ahead. Well, oh, he didn't care about it. Y'all were there. No, 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 yeah, yes, for his is. family, for his friends, I was cares, the one. I was the one. But life is not no, black and white. No, like, but I was you know, the one. Hold on, you know why he, he let you go outside and all that stuff? Because he was fucking other girls. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So that's, that's true. Right. Okay, that's, that's, true. that's what happened. That's that's yeah, you go out and your friends. But, I'm going to go fuck. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's true. Oh but I'm happy to the question. I got a bitch coming over right there. I'm happy to the question. I had everything in the moment. Everything can someone imagine. Mm. And I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. Because you're not being into it's a, the reality. The thing is, the thing no. is, I feel like y'all are y'all aren't listening to what she's no, saying. No, I'm listening. Right. You're not listening. You're not being realistic. She didn't. I wasn't that moment. I'm not that moment. I'm being realistic with myself. You didn't have everything. No, you know why you didn't have everything? Because if he cared about you. He would have been like, "Don't post that naked picture on yep. Instagram." Y'all need a man that cares about you. Uh, when he cares about you, he will tell you shit 
we're and be you, like, we're telling you how this is feel. how I appreciate you. <laughs> if you post this, that goes against a man appreciating well, a woman. Well, I'm gonna. You have are to so you lost in your this. Disney film. No, right? no, 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 no. That no, you no. think that that's no, what makes you. No. You think attention is gonna make you happy long no, term. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. And I'm gonna explain you one more thing. Since we started dating, I was uh, I, I was open with uh, with him about myself. I'm like I'm open, like I'm I'm gonna be loyal, but I wanna post whatever I want. No, we didn't really talk about posts, but like I wanna hang out with my friends whenever I want, he without any problem or something. Him. And he knew what I was going for, and I was okay, and and he was okay with that. Okay, we had other problems, and for him, he wanted to marry. <laughs> Right. Uh, he, he wanted to marry me and having kids and at the moment I realized I can't have that because I will be so unhappy then I will die inside because he did not care about you you're right yes he didn't care about me no okay. explaining we got you we hear you yeah. All right. ladies I'm going to give you this rule if you want to accept it or not it's up to you when a man doesn't put boundaries on you and right. he's not territorial with if he you, cared about you, he doesn't give a you fuck about you. Well, probably he's smart. If he lets you go and put yourself in situations where other men can talk to you, if he lets you go ahead and go out with your girlfriends to the club, if he lets you talk to other men, if he says open relationship or whatever, one of two things. He's a simp or B, he doesn't care about you. Is there a simp girl version pimp. of a simp? Pick me. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. You should be a pick me. get picked. Exactly. Oh, they get saved. Oh, Their oh, souls so get bad. saved. So it's bad for a man to be a simp, but a girl's version of a simp is bad. A man needs to be a simp. A girl's version of a simp is good. A woman should simp. You should be simping for your man. You should. A man has to be a simp. Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear You should simp for your the right man, like he said, the right man. Like you, like Myron stated earlier, when you actually find a man that you love and respect, let's say you're just taking you're not in a relationship yet because mm -hmm. they have their their rotation you should still be monogamous to that man because no matter what it's a competition like she said it's a competition provide value be monogamous don't be a hoe like you're but, simping for your man yeah. only focus on him no is other man simping? exists that is simping absolutely uh -huh. he should be the only guy you should worship him if god came down Work and said, way up hey, the ladder this is your man of your oh, dreams. Worship, yeah. if god came down and said this is the man of your dreams this is what you got to do delete your instagram uh, stop doing yeah. this. Don't do, would you do it? Would you do like, it? Yes, absolutely. And, and, and he would be the man you'd be with for the rest of your life. And, and, and no and cheating with nothing. him and not give up on him. You would give up on all you that stuff. I wouldn't wait, give up on wait. No I'm, so, I'm really, I'm confused. Wait, no I wanted to finish. Wait, wait, wait. I wanted to finish because no she had okay. asked. No more titty pics. I None wanted to finish because you asked about why a man simp is wrong. Yes. Now picture the guy that's like up under your ass. Oh, I just want to make you happy. I don't, I don't respect him. Okay. Okay. So there's your answer. I got my chat here. The reason why is because women oh, are not right leaders. Right so when a man simps, right. inevitably the girl's in the leadership position. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. And you said, low, Myron, Myron, uh, you said like your... earlier you were like, oh, you're in your masculine, and I completely agree. Like now I am. I am completely in my masculine. Like it's really hard for me to like be facts. feminine with like facts. men facts. that I don't facts. give a fuck facts. about. I don't facts. respect facts. them. Facts. It's really facts. hard for me facts. to respect facts. men. Facts. Here's a problem. Facts. Um, <laughs> when you're masculine like that, a lot of guys just aren't going to give you a chance. Yeah, I just don't respect them. I, I could come up as, as feminist in this panel. I can't because I'm, I'm not sure attracted come, to anybody right? oh, in here oh, like that. Yeah. But yeah, but you're talking to guys who are already doing well. But and I you, don't like is, them. It doesn't not, matter. No, no, it's like, your energy. What? Men can read but your I don't energy. Like, but I don't... You can't put it on and off. You do not. Do, 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 do you have preferences I on men, think, on women? I think you have yes. preferences black, on men. Black, like, I like feminine, non, yeah. combative. Yeah. And yeah. I like mixed men. I like men. Fit. Mixed men like I the think, same thing I like. Fit. And I like them. <laughs> that's like when you. I'm. That's okay, so when I'm my own. I think you're my own. We don't. We don't want you. Exactly. But I don't want you. No. The thing is, y'all aren't understanding me. We're arguing, but we're not trying to talk. To yo, understand, yo, you know so what I mean? Austin, would you date her? It's when not, it's not no, that. No, 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 no. Let's okay. not do that oh, because I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> no, I'm cool. not in the, I'm not in the mm, time you know, where I want to date. What does the next man have to do to explain to you though. what men value? And, you're still, and I'm listening you're still to you. No, you're not. No, you're not. What is okay, the mix? I'm not listening what's to the you. point of your uh, of the mixed man? Yeah, we, we're telling you that regardless of the man, this is what we like in women. And you talking about mixed men, this men, I'm we mixed. like the, the same is, shit. I'm feminine. I'm purposes. feminine with a man that makes it me feel work. feminine. He's not gonna give you a chance. That, that could provide. 
He won't give you a You can't so. be feminine and conditional. Wait, I have yeah, to be right. feminine to every single guy? Yeah. Every single guy that I meet, do yes. I have to be feminine? Yes. yes. But I don't like them. Yes. Why would I be right. feminine to a man that I don't show. fucking Stop like? Stop the show. Stop the show. How about this? How about... Yeah. I'm only masculine when I'm with a feminine woman. So in yeah. other words, I dress up and okay. wear heels and a dress. But when I meet with a feminine woman, I'm a man all of a sudden. How would that make you feel? Men and women are not the same. Hold you on. said it. I said it. Hold on. We are not I'm the just same. using your logic back on you. And I understand. Would you accept me if I was conditionally masculine? In other words, I dress up and act feminine until I meet a feminine woman, then act masculine. We're not the same. Men and women well, are not the same. But doesn't same. that sound ridiculous that you can pick and choose when you want to be a lady, but I have to be a man all the time? Look, I, I've been red pilled. I've been black pilled. I understand what you're fucking saying. No, you're sorry. Confused. I, I don't like, want to curse. See, when the, you, the, the when problem you argue is that about it's being... very simple. You're yeah. you're a naturally masculine woman, which right. is cool. But a majority of masculine men are not going to accept or tolerate it. Just like you're not going to accept a man that's feminine. I I don't argue with men though. That's the thing. This is a this is a this is a very not the cap to like exception. really huh? did you say it's you beat exception. me in but yeah, you're, this you're is an making exception. it like i, I like we're, we're here to argue ass. you know what i mean yeah but i mean we're here to debate absolutely but you can still yeah. be feminine about your debate. like i used to be <laughs> heavily masculine and i didn't understand it. i thought Shit. about it like you did mm -hmm. but just being feminine doesn't mean you're being like you're being feminine to other men like catering to these men no yeah. it's it's you know how to be a lady you act like a you lady. should just be that as we are here right now you've told multiple people including staff and me to shut up and like that's not very feminine you told her like you've been very combative with her that's not very feminine that's very masculine not i used to be mm -hmm. the exact same way so i know what you're like you're just confusing what feminine and masculinity is we're not talking about conditional feminism that's what or conditional feminine and that's what you're saying only in a relationship will you be a lady but when you're mm -hmm. out on the street if someone looks at you fuck is you looking at that's not <laughs> that's not what a man wants okay. just be a lady and, and so you, even and after and i understand let me, See, let me like, give it a thousand when, hold she, on, hold when, on. She, when she tells me about that then i could understand you know what i mean but like when you come at me like in a certain way like it's your instant like, reaction is to yeah. react very masculine yeah. and that's how you've been okay acting. let me yeah. give and you I apologize the cold if, hard, I, if i did say let me just give you the cold hard truth i'm multi-million i'm a very masculine guy I would only have sex with a girl like you. I would never take you seriously because Bugs. you're very combative. You're very masculine. You're very co dominant. You're very assertive. Mm. You're very competitive. You're not agreeable. Great traits for making money. But I don't want a girl that makes money and has these masculine traits. I want a feminine, soft woman because I'm a masculine guy. Mm -hmm. And guys that make money that are successful don't, don't tolerate masculine women in general. Shout out to Pearl. And um, I'm going to be on the fucking. Yo, what? stop. What is it stop right now. Why? Stop Stop right now. Don't, don't continue Why are you talking mad at me? about that. Just don't. Don't. Okay, I was just talking about wife school. You're not going to mention another podcast. But I was just talking about wife school. You're not going to mention another podcast on here. Let's move on. Let's okay. move on. Okay. Not gonna mention All right, podcast. Kyle Biglow. Stupid. What's your opinion regarding winning a woman from a low value man? Huh? What's your opinion regarding winning? Oh, I think you mean like taking his girl? Is that what he means? Why are you trying to do that? Yeah, that's kind of. Having a bun is mindset, bro. Yeah. Why are you trying to take girls that have dudes? Ali. Go ahead. Fellas, would you consider a 30-year-old woman that did not go through a three or four phase that focus on their career while they were young and is willing to submit? My mom told me I should wait to get married until 30. I wouldn't marry a 30-year-old chick, bro, if I were you. Mm -hmm. no. She's going to she's gonna put the mask on and get married. You got to well, understand that's that. That's a girl asking that she's waiting because her mom told her to wait. Oh, Don't wait. Up. Find your man now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, that's a girl better. that asked that? Okay. Yeah. So, ladies, what is the number one most disqualifying trait in a guy and why? Top G free. Ron Pugh. Ron Pugh. Yeah, we'll pass that. Uh, Julio Studio okay. says, as a short man, 5'3", who hooks up with tall women all the time, I'm living proof that women don't know what they want until it's right in front of them. We don't care about IQ, but her for the test of marriage. Stop the cap. Okay. Julio uh, Studio? Were your flight instructors male or female? Asking you. Uh, I had uh, three male and one female. Okay. Interesting. Uh, don't be a retard. Uh, five head just doesn't get it. The vow breaker is so triggered. What a re re. You have anything you want to say? <laughs> oh back my to god, him? that's me. Wait, what? What did he <laughs> Never say? Mind. <laughs> they call okay. it <laughs> she all excited. Uh, in the house you. goes. She is no, the one picking the banana and scary movie. Mm, I see what she's talking about. <laughs> okay. What else? Uh, J Styles cop. My girl just broke up with me and said she was tired of me telling her not to dress provocatively, not to wear makeup, and not to show herself on social media. I was providing seventy percent of my income because she doesn't have her father and her mom doesn't have money. I'm heartbroken. <laughs> Stop being a pussy, bro. She's for the streets. Bro, she was not for you then. She's not for yeah, you. She's man. not following your program. Jeez. Yeah, don't be with a girl that wants to constantly advertise herself, bro. She you wants to for sales on. Let her go to the fucking streets. You're free bro. now to find a different girl that wants yeah, you, man. bro. Don't sit there like y'all gotta stop fucking tolerate fuckery from women, bro. Uh, ratings from Fresh Down. Me too. Basic wifey street smashable throat. 
Annoying as fuck. F and F, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Okay. Throw go. Uh, ladies, with the looming financial crisis, bank systems falling left and right, potentially World War III, I hope you all are all prepared to sell your box in that mouth for survival. <laughs> Watch all the strong and independent Jeez. BS go out the window. God damn. <laughs> and then how many more do we got, Christopher? Uh, we got about more. Yeah, World War III pop off. Okay. Shit. Uh, mm. Hey, I've never been be a while since I asked the question, but I've been dating the same girl since I was 17. I'm 21 now. My focus is work and saving, but she doesn't understand that. Should I cut her off? Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, if she's, no. if she's getting in the way of you of your purpose, bro, kick her to the curb. Like just have a conversation with her. Like, like sit down and have a conversation. <laughs> oh, so after, you can get divorced and you're up and build up like you after, are? Exactly. Oh, wait a minute. After the conversation, then you make your decision to cut her off or not. If she doesn't understand after the conversation, okay, then cut her off. But just have the conversation. Bruh. Bruh. Like, like, if, he his, now. If, he, if he puts his career on the back end, mm -hmm. right? She gonna leave him anyway. I never like said that. Do. Don't say that. Don't say that. She I never. Want to focus I on never that. said to put your uh, conversation. I just said have a conversation with her, explain your feelings. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then if you want to cut her off, then you fucking cut her off. Dog shit advice, bro. <laughs> Dog shit advice. <laughs> Dog shit advice. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to. You don't want to communicate with her. You just want to cut her off. Yes. Well, she's she's he's clearly been saying for a while that she wants him to, to like stop working so much. She's been. She wants him, him to stop working. Yes. So you didn't even read the question. All right. <laughs> no. So the girls. So the girls. That's not so the girls. Picture yourself being a mom to your loving son. You've yeah. nurtured him since a baby. As he grew, he was bullied. He went to hell and back. But he survived his seven-figure business. He's about to marry a 300-body count girl. Would you intervene? Would you let your son marry a girl that has 300 sexual partners fucking in the past? No. Yes Fuck or no? no? Absolutely fucking not. I have a son. Hold on. It's not your it's turn. Not, it's not your turn, bro. God damn. Wait. Let Italy answer. Uh, yes, yeah, yes or no? Yes, because I will never ask. No, no. But you found out. Oh, my God. Yes. Damn. Okay. Oh. You... You wouldn't mom. save your son? You wouldn't oh. save him. Right. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, uh, I didn't no, no. understand the things with the son. I didn't read the question. Yeah. Would you Stupid. Be? Would you what? let your son get married to a girl who has like 300 people she slept with? Okay, yes. What the okay, Stupid. so your answer's the same. All right, okay. what about you? You're a terrible mom. No. 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 You? No. All right, go ahead. You can say what you want to say now. Absolutely not. I have a son, so I I expect him oh, to shit. to find a virgin, right? Find find a girl, find <laughs> mm -hmm. a girl that like at least is like at least half of me. You know what I mean? Like she, wait, she so can't have question. Um, yeah. How old is your son? <laughs> he, he just turned three a couple of days ago. Happy birthday! You got a kid? Hold on, bro. Wait, do the math. Well, I was married and I was oh, fucking man. raw, so I mean that's how it okay, goes. Okay, so that ex husband. Got it. Ooh, That's shit. he's my he was my ex husband ex husband. It's not like just like a like a guy that I just left. All like... right, next. <laughs> no. Okay, why not? Self explanatory. Oh. Like no. Three hundred bodies. She has a lot of experience though. Mm -hmm. She gonna, Boss, she gonna love him. She's a born again virgin <laughs> tomorrow. No. No. Okay. No. What yeah, about Christ. you? Um. Uh, Three hundred. That's a lie, right? That's even a hundred, baby. That's even a fifty. Three hundred is crazy. That's a good ass movie. I mean, to be fair, Spartans. Not my bad. Three hundred. I mean, to be fair, that's less than you. So I mean, what? Speak up. Damn, I don't know. less than you. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. Say it with your chest. I did. I just did. I'm just tired. I need to hear her answer. That should be interesting. Miss Me? statistical facts and yeah, I mean, school data. Fucking, yeah, it has no like I, at the end of the day, like it's his life. Like I can tell him, I can tell him yes, no, whatever. Like you, I can't but stop. But he him. cares about your opinion. What would you say? Um, like, do you love her? Like, what are the qualities that she's bringing to the table? Yeah, mom. And then based off of that, she's like, awesome, yeah. mom. Yeah, like, hey, you know, she's like awesome. Her head game's fire. She's yeah. already sucked off yeah, through other guys. Jesus. Yeah. Well, since fine. you're so good with numbers, are you aware that, like, after, like, six partners, a, a woman's ability to last in a long-lasting good marriage drops off precipitously? I would love to see. Or it's called pair bonding, by the way. Can you can you give me the website or sure. whatever? So I can sure, I can, I can send it to you. <laughs> yes. Okay. As women have more sexual partners, typically their ability to pair form pair. a loving relationship and last in a marriage goes down significantly. Versus men are not affected the same way. Yeah, I'd I'd love to read about that. It's called keep pair in bonding. Mind. Keep pair in mind. Well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I'm not. Uh, I know you guys it's think I'm very notes. smart. I don't know everything in the world. That's why facts, I'm here facts, to like talk, facts. learn, but, listen. Here's know? the thing though. Wait, this is your son though. This is your offspring. 
Like, yeah. you wouldn't advise him, like, you know what? There's a better option out for his life. She don't care about it. I'd advise legacy. him to get ST- make sure she's STD tested, you know? Like, fuck. <laughs> like, that's the biggest risk in my opinion Nothing there. Else. You don't Nothing think else. she's going to cheat on him because, like, 300 bodies is crazy. You don't like, think she'd break his heart? You don't think she'll he, fuck him up? Not, if not you, at all? I, I, what is it? If she shows signs of being a cheater, like I would have to She's know her back. Yeah. She yeah. had three hundred bodies. Yeah. bodies, man. What do you need to know? Maury. Okay, Maury. let me ask Maury. this. Um, well, I know your answers already, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> like I don't know. Like I would have what's to know the woman answer? first. Mm. So your answer is yes. Yeah. What's your right. answer? Your answer is yes, regardless of the numbers. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. That's crazy. You set your son up. I would not let. I would. I would tell my son no, but I know that. You know, sons don't really listen to their mom's opinion, so I'd leave it to his father to actually intervene and put the foot down. I love that. But if he cared about your opinion, yeah. Oh, he's a simp. <laughs> Fair My enough. son needs to go to the, the put father. It this way, though. Put it this way: if I have a, if I, oh, I repeat this. I'm if speaking I off experience. I was with someone whose mother ended up not liking me. So, and I and I've seen this enough. I think the father needs to put his foot down. Like that's a hoe. You could fuck her, but no, like you're not wifing her. Like you're yeah. not. No, 300 is too much. If you haven't found somebody and by that, like 300 and you haven't found one person, that's great. That's, that's crazy. No, you got something, MJ? Likes. If I had a daughter mm-hmm. and like me in high school came up to her, I'd be like, stay away from his ass. Mm. I'm not. And, and that's at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think a lot of females will sit here and put themselves in a situation. And because it goes against the grain for them, they can't admit to it. You know, if you had your son, you would not let him wife up that 300 body count ran through hoe. You know that for a fact. What the hell are y'all talking about? <laughs> for, for y'all that <laughs> sat there and denied clear facts. Like, y'all would sit here and look at some fuck. Like, it's, it's wild, bro. It's wild. It's only two girls. Yeah. Italy yes. and But even, even people just listening. And yeah, I know. Like, it's crazy, bro. Yes, well, hey. Do you guys think people can change? Uh, 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 no, not no. you can't okay. change not your after history. 300. Come on, okay. not after 300. Yeah. 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 You can't change that body count. Okay, yeah, so promiscuous women typically don't make good wives. One uh, positive effect of Instagram is that you can use it as a one metric for determining if a girl's a good wife. The lower the followers, the more valuable the woman. Zero social media is always a potential wife in the eyes of men. 21, 9, 11. That's I mean, very true. she's probably banned, so who knows? <laughs> Or she uh, wants a new, a new account. Did you say band? You need a shirt yeah. that says in general. Okay. <laughs> Alpha Alpha Kenny, if my grandmother had wheels, she sh- would have been a bike. What the okay. fuck? Uh, how you feel does not define how the world works. You can say you're all tens and the confidence is key, but honesty is better because it shows that you know that you have flaws. You can improve on also my please sign my copy of your book. Okay. Um FNF, big shout out, Tate's free. Ladies, do you have a difficult time holding up the image you portray on social media sites? Look at their Instagrams and look back at this table and you'll see. You can tell. Uh, God, good vi- God vibes only, 713. Women don't like the term pick me because they're comparing it to how they truly feel about simps. Pick me and simp are not the same. Simps get no love. Pick me's always get picked and will get all the love from her man facts. Okay. Well said, brother. Junior Charles, girl in blue jean dress that mentioned the other podcast looks like DC Young Fly. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> All right, uh, what, uh, turn it to ladies. Yeah, oh, we can do. Uh, All right, ladies, we turn it to y'all for uh, last co- comments, statements, or questions or disagreements. Last thoughts on the show. I'm gonna start right here. And then rumble. Go uh, oh, ahead, I'm lost. Wait. That was right. funny. Shit. Go ahead. Uh, how's the show for you? Questions, comments, or disagreements? Have you I've... ever had a dream that Chris. that you? Chris. Um... <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's a that's gonna be my hands. <laughs> for you for me i had a wonderful time coming back and i really enjoy the show and um i always learn a lot from coming here and yeah so i had a good time you're soaking in all the knowledge yeah That's what's up. i definitely had a good time just hearing opinions in person versus actually listening and watching them on the podcast like my man and i we've been watching those podcasts for months now like he's the one that put me on Mm. i can fully accept that he's the one that put me on because of him and him showing me your podcast i actually purchased your book i got it recently i haven't read it yet because i've been finishing up some podcast of yours but i have it okay i'm glad thank you so much for supporting of course you'll like it it's short it's only isn't that funny (laughs) your man puts his girl on and then before you know it she's on board and then she's like but the program. she's in a relationship and she's happy. Yeah. So, hey, man, and that's, that's a change your life. He'll do better for you, too. Like, yeah. with you in mind, he'll be the best version of himself. For I guarantee you. you, 
not many girls will, t- will take that up. So you know what? This is good for my my man. And mm-hmm. you doing that, you become number one. Literally. Exactly. Yeah. Because most uh, girls can't do that. Nope. So yeah. go work. You got a man. It's UW. <laughs> what about you? What's the question? Stupid. It's your last thoughts. Like, oh my you think about last thoughts, yeah. questions, disagreements. Uh, uh, any... I'm just here to learn. I'm just here to learn. What did you learn? Not today's show. Um, I learned the way men think. You know what I mean? I think it's completely different from what I'm. A, I'm a girl's girl. You know what I mean? I what like did you learn in particular about... about men thinking? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're gonna say nothing, I mean, then. Well, no, I'm. I'm, I'm... Guys, stop fucking trolling in the back. Please. Go ahead. <laughs> um, don't be a hoe. Be nice. And okay. you'll be okay. Like, that's it. Okay. Are you going to do any, any of those so. things or no? Are you going to do it? Can we leave her? Uh, you not. don't know me outside nope. of this podcast. So, like, no, I'm asking you. Are you going to do I it? Mean... Can you leave her? They like really take it in. Yeah, think about it. Bruh. For a guy, for a guy that's. God fearing. Yeah, probably. Just like a nice guy. Like a nice guy, I'll do I'll do whatever you want. But she, she can boss him around, watch. I don't wanna boss anybody around. That's the problem. I don't wanna boss anybody Whoa, around. Whoa, relax, bro. No, that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> because because I'm so like the way that you think I am, you know what I mean? Like I don't wa- I don't respect a man that I could boss around. Because you want a guy to tame you. I want a guy that tames me exactly. You think a nice guy is gonna tame <laughs> they you don't though? Want to. No, I think a, a a nice guy that has some big ass boss could take tame me. But that like, contradicts it. That's the thing. You don't. You, you know? don't think nice guys can have big. A boss? nice guy's not gonna tell you to shut up. You're being annoying. <laughs> you think nice guys okay, then maybe boss? I like like maybe like I need like a mean aggressive guy or something. You do shut up. That's you need. need an asshole. I maybe I do need an asshole. Well, that is. I'm just, trying to, I'm just sure, trying to so. learn about myself and awesome. learn. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Uh, first of all, I think it was an awesome experience. So awesome. thank you. But it definitely changed my perspective. But what'd you learn? Well, now that you're asking me off the bat, it's a little hard to answer that. But I think I did like when it comes to the Stupid. point in my real like in reality, I think like some views will for sure change. But my ego is also big, so I'm a stubborn. But I did some what will perspectives. Change? See, you asking me is like making me like. I'm trying to think about it now, but I mean, if you're gonna make a statement, I'm just asking. Okay, to... no, no, I know. Um, definitely like the whole aspect of things. I'm not saying I was one or that like I go home not to like Chicago that. and I'm like popping pussy left and right, but like I see where you guys are coming from from a better okay, point so of view. Only left, not right. <laughs> she said in the, in the middle, right. in the middle, in the middle. Does it do okay. backflips <laughs> sometimes? What about you? Um, I think I still disagree with a lot of things. What but... do you disagree with in particular? <laughs> I just don't like being told what to do. Like, that's what kind of annoys me, to be honest. That's literally the stem of everything. But I mean, it is what it is. So, what? Well, so you don't like being told what to do by man? In general, man, woman doesn't matter. I don't like being told what to do. You're so you want a man that makes more money than you, stronger than you, physically capable, and a leader, but you don't want him to tell you what to do? Did I say that's what I wanted? Yes, because when I asked it before, you raised your hand on every single one. I said that. You said I'm okay recall. with him being short. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but all the other things. You want him to still be stronger than you and better than you in every regard. But you don't want to listen to him? Uh, To an extent. Jeez. What extent is that? Like if like if he disagrees with me, then I'm not going to listen. The fuck? But he's the leader, though. <laughs> Um, but do you, do you I think understand? maybe it just takes practice because I've never really listened to anybody my whole life. So I think it just because you've gonna take pussies, time. That's why, yeah. I think I just that's that, what it like my parents never made me like do the most either. It's not like no, it's his fault. It's girls live life. life on easy mode, yeah, bro. Holy, <laughs> god damn! Absolutely, Jeez. as they should. What? 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 You want your life? You want your daughter to live on easy mode? You don't want her to be hard with the right man. Yeah, yeah if she listens, she yeah, she gonna. I'm gonna have to tell her you, this is the one that's gonna take you yeah, to the promise. Yeah, but it's still gonna be easy. <laughs> Shut mode. up and listen to him. Yeah, it's still like, gonna be easy mode. You don't, don't want to. You don't want to say that to your daughter because it yes. depends on the man. Like, you get it what depends, I'm saying though. Yeah, I do. I but women do live life on easy mode. She's gonna respect me because so she's gonna know what I'm trying to portray to her. Yeah, you have to be like the standard for the man that she chooses. Absolutely. Okay. What about you? Um, my name is Pixie, P-X-I-E. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry if I came across as contrarian. I wasn't trying to. I yeah, was were. trying. Well, no, there were things I agreed with and things I disagreed with. Um, but yeah, I think, um, yeah, I, I think overall, we're all asking each other to be a little bit better, right? Guys are saying, oh, you know, we want women to go against their attention seeking nature, et cetera, et cetera. 
women are saying we want men to go against their, you know, fucking everything nature. And I think, you know, that's okay. I think we shouldn't revert either women or men to their like pure natural instincts. We should try to be as best possible people as we can. That's easy for you to say because women don't have to earn attention, whereas men have to earn the ability to have sex. I'm saying that just in general, like everybody should try to be better. You're telling and me you can to say not it's easy. want sex. Oh, no, I'm saying that you should, instead of fucking every woman that moves, you should Who have higher that? standards for yourself. Who does that? I'm you know, so super, because that men... when I gave, yeah, the, super, when I gave the millionaire analogy and the trust fund baby, you did not think twice when I said, would you take advice from me? You said, hell no. What so I'm saying I'm saying that both women no, and no, no, men... no, no, no. I'm going back to what I was saying before, as far as like when I gave you the analogy, you had no issue with saying, no, I'm not taking advice from that from you because you fucked up with your money. What I'm saying is that the same exact thing when it comes to men and their sexuality, women can't tell men how to exercise their sexuality when you guys don't earn your sexuality. That's the only thing I want. OK, there's there's a lot to break down here. But do you agree that like men can theoretically Okay, well, I don't want to upset anybody anymore. I no, just, you, I'm here to said? talk. Like, you're just it's not fine. smart. It's okay if you don't think I'm smart. <laughs> no, I just yeah, am here I, to try to talk about our ideas smart. together. Um, but yeah, <laughs> your turn. I think, you, I think you don't have a general basic understanding of evolutionary psychology from a male <laughs> perspective. Maybe you have it from the female perspective. But I've had to explain very rudimentary things to you, and you can't grasp it. And Myron, the, the rudim rudimentary Stupid. things that you're explaining to me, I am sorry to you, but the stats don't line up. Really? If, yes. 67% of men and 72% of women would not consider an open relationship or a non-monogamous relationship. What did I say before? You're, you're saying, oh, because men have to settle, etc. But we're talking about consideration. We're saying, if it's possible, would you be okay taking this? And the, guess what? The vast majority of women and the vast majority of men don't even want to consider it. They're not comfortable with it. Guys are not going to be honest on polls like that because consider. if a man goes ahead and says, yo, okay. I want to fuck a bunch of bitches, <laughs> guess what's going to happen? <laughs> He's going to be looked at as a womanizing asshole and men can't be honest about Toxic these things masculine. but if you put Sogony. a guy in a locker room with his buddies Sogony. and ask him do would you prefer to have one or two girlfriends and you don't have any type of penalization they would take the two girlfriends every single time, time. It has to be two what do you think happens like when girls talk to each other what think about mean? it you don't want two boyfriends <laughs> i do Really? <laughs> don't, don't, don't expect the man to take you seriously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the thing is, once, here's the thing. Would won't. you? Let me ask you this. I'm just talking. I'm yeah, just laughing. But go ahead. Would you prefer to have sex with just one guy or three guys? At once. He wants three. At once? No, 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 no. Not at once. I mean, would you prefer to be hooking up with one guy at a time that accomplishes everything you need, or three guys that one has money, one's attractive, and then another one is charming? And don't lie. Would you prefer to spread it out amongst three guys, or would you prefer to have one guy that just has it all? Let's be in the middle. Let's do two. Three or four, bro. Three or okay. four. All right. Whatever. Three or four. Yeah. All right. Okay. What are we doing? Can I ask a question quick before my last thoughts? Yeah. I just want to ask: Would you guys rather a man that can't that does like basically can't pull females at all, or would you rather a man that women are attracted to? Let's start with her. I'm assuming if he can't pull females at all, that includes me. So. So the answer is no, right? Yeah, like why would I date a guy that there's zero? Maybe he'll pull you. you everyone's okay. a seven. You. So. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, but that's <laughs> what you're. Adam was gonna ask. Basically, yeah. no, no. The, the answer was basically no for everybody. They want a man that can pull bitches. Right. So, um, because that's what's attractive. Um, I always love the show. I'm always um learning things new. I love the opportunity to be able to look back at old episodes that I've been on and just see how my character growth has been. She um, belongs to the streets. <laughs> Chris. Cool. Anyways, a big thank you to Myron who's really helped change my life. Caliente. Chris, can I actually talk? Like you're being drunk and disrespectful for no reason. I'm actually trying to say something. A big thank you to Myron. Who... Chris, let her finish, please. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Grow up, nigga. <laughs> nigga so feminine, by the way. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Italy said that you're feminine. Italy. All right, go ahead. Well, anyways, I've learned a lot from this show. It's really changed my life in like numerous ways. I've I just think that I'm living a more uh, a better life now. Um, a big thank you to Myron for always being there. Um, whether it's if I have to have legal advice or emotional advice, like he keeps shit real. He really open like he really opened my mind to this shit. And a big thank you to that. A big thank you to Fresh too. Just the whole Fresh and Fit. Um, 
podcast has really done a lot for me. Thank you, IT, for introducing me to the podcast. And I just want to... Huh? Nice. No, I said just shout out to Icy. Yeah, shout out to Icy for bringing me here because, well, Icy brought me here, but yeah, shout out to Red too. But thank you for bringing me here. Um, I do want to apologize to my mom because I know I've been a disappointment, and you know I just have to say thank Myron that I'm doing better now so that I can make my mom proud. I don't mean to cry. Um, but yeah, like I finally left the club. I'm deleting OnlyFans, and I just want to yeah, just I learned a lot from Fresh and Fit, and it's really really been better for me um i'm a better woman for it and i hope that you ladies actually take this information and learn from it because it really will help you and it's not you know misogyny or anything like that i really hope that you ladies learn from this and ladies that are watching i hope that you actually aren't just hearing it i hope that you're listening because it's life-changing um shout out to everybody in the discord too by the way for showing love in the comments um and yeah shout out to the creativity kit and fuck yeah. Abba and Preach. <laughs> right. Fuck them. All right, cool. Yeah. You can find me on Xena the Witcher on Instagram. I only open up DMs for um, things pertaining to the Discord, C- Creativity Kit, or Myron, like um, the podcast. Um, like ladies that want to come on the show, those are the only DMs that I'll open up. Um, it's a professional Instagram, and my Twitter is Xena the Witcher. It's Red Pill Twitter. And you can find me in the Discord. That's All right. Uh, Damn. Uh, sorry. Okay, okay, but, chat, uh, but, uh, chat one on that. <laughs> Okay, we got uh, Tom Chad. I'll read these three and then our guests. Uh, ladies, would you would you be happy with with taking a guy uh, taking? Ladies, would you be happy with a guy sure. taking you to McDonald's oh, on dates okay. for the foreseeable future, even when you know he has money and has splurge on his exes from the get go? Bro, you know that's a no. That, that's, that's a, no, that's a like fuck it. no. We don't even have that. But it's a that. it's a yes. it's a two part. Apple Ace women hate <laughs> when we tell them what we actually want from them because they know that they can't meet those standards and then they shame us for it. Ooh, Ooh banger! Oh, you're using that third eye, my friend. And then, and then uh, for our last one, bro, three hundred and saying honestly, anything over ten is crazy. You bang ten guys and couldn't get a commitment. That's wild. That's crazy. Great show. Please go easy on the stats, girls. A stat girl. At least she's trying to present evidence based arguments. All right. And then, uh, and then these last rumble rants here. How disease gym go on chest, bro? I remember you talking about it a while back. Shout out to chest, bro. And then uh, W Rumble. And then uh, Trump Balone fellow. If woman has to be paid to follow or submit to a man, she is no different than a woman who has to be paid for <laughs> sex with a man. There's a difference between a wife and a concubine. Big facts. Damn. Okay. Mm. And right. then uh, our special guest, man, take it away. Okay, fine, Joe. FedEx Fearless on our platforms: um, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. It was dope, man. I had fun. Mm-hmm. We had a good time, too. Facts. MJ Get Right, YouTube, IG, uh, Twitter. Always a good time. Yeah, same. Austin Dunham. Austin Dunham Vlogs on YouTube. Austin underscore Dunham on Instagram. Um, watch the podcast. Never make... Well, makes me realize, once again, how most women are delusional. So <laughs> seeing it in real time is always great. You know, usually I'm just chilling in my bed watching it, you know, so... You know, it's cool. It was a good time, you know. Uh, all the guys, um, links are below, guys. Go check them out on YouTube. And, and the, girls. All the girls' Instagrams are below. So go ahead and send them a dick pic. I'm sure they'd appreciate it, guys. <laughs> we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.